Hello? 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 Or here? And uh, I'm an hour earlier, but it's it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys are doing good today. It is Saturday after all, you know? Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Um, Craig is today's first. Choco is today's second. Toonie is, well, let's just say, in a way, he's third. Um, but also, thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it. Balder, Balder's well. Mm. Technically, there is a well uh, that we could go down uh, if we wanted to. <laughs> Actually, I think I've already been there. Um... Not talking about in Act 1, I'm talking about in Baldur's Gate itself, like the city. Um, but yeah, so we're, we, we're back. We're back. I was supposed to stream yesterday as well, but I, you know, it just didn't happen because I have had a couple of days with migraines. It was like... It's called like a, a migraine hangover too, like when when you, you can kind of feel the... The... the well, it's like, oh shit, hold on, I forgot to change that. Um, um, we're not playing Animal Well anymore. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> I just had to change the tag. Um, anyway, what I was gonna say was, um, you, you can kind of feel it bubbling under the surface in a way. Um... So that's kind of like a, a hangover for it. So I've been feeling that earlier today, but then after I took a shower, I was fine. So, you know, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm just a little bit tired. You know, I'm a little bit tired, but it's it's good. I've, I can't believe it's been a whole week again. Like lately, it's, I've been playing Baldur's Gate 3 like once. Like there's been a week in between each time that I played it because I played it last saturday and the saturday before and i don't know if i played any in between there and that's that's just too long things have just been weird lately i don't know i don't know but happy weekend and happy balding well luckily i'm not balding yet uh, hopefully not ever but you never know <laughs> but i hope you have a good weekend as well craig I mean, women can also get bald, don't, but I, I don't think it's in my genes to be. So, let's just hope that it remains that way. <laughs> You're sliding me smoothie? What kind? Well, thank you, thank you. How are you doing though, Toonie? Also, yeah, we, we finished, uh, well, let's see, I was supposed to stream Baldur's Gate 3 on, on Wednesday. But seeing as I cancelled on Tuesday, I I felt like when I have a game that is like dedicated for one day during the week, which was Animal Well, I kind of felt like, you know, I have to, I should probably play that instead today. And we did finish it. So we did finish Animal Well on Wednesday. So that means that on Tuesday, we're gonna, we're gonna find something new. I actually haven't decided exactly what because I have so many games. Uh, on the waiting list uh, and I think I'm like should we just play Baldur's Gate 3 until we're done with this playthrough because we're pretty close we're pretty close but the reason why I haven't been playing it on Tuesdays is because I need to get up early the next day but I think I think I should be okay to, to stop streaming after about four hours now I hope I think maybe Bald at the gates. Yeah, bald at the gates. <laughs> you DJ and mine is holding back a bald woman comment, just so you know. I... I feel like that's a, a bit of a reach, unless unless you're thinking of something completely different. Hey! <laughs> Your button to chat is outside of the... Wait! Hi, Orion! Oh, there's only a tiny piece hanging there. You don't want or need to see the bits yeah, beside your channel points. Who made this change you want to have? Wait! Wait, 
What do you mean? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, I think it's just because the the new they have implemented something new. Just a, what? What do you have on your tail? Um, they have implemented something new. Uh, that is like grouped together with channel points that you can use bits to 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 do. Um, so I think that's why they show the amount of bits you have down there um, with the the channel points. Um, you think it's because you have all the mod icons as well? I'm not entirely sure what you mean, but yeah, this is, this is two stuff. My, my cat? Ow. <laughs> you know, if that is Twitch or an extension, but it often happens to you too. Oh. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about then. I thought you meant the, 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 the channel point thing, the new thing at the bottom. Uh, Twitch put spits next to channel points in your chat thing now. Yeah, yeah, I thought that's uh, that's what I thought you meant. Mm, it has never happened to you before. Hmm. <laughs> the bits of the fucking screen. <laughs> I don't know. I I have not looked into that. But maybe they will implement that in a in a little bit because well in a in a little bit. Teeny tiny, tiny bit. Um. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. If people complain oh! about it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Thank you for the five bits, Orion. <laughs> Dude, my my mic is so full of cat hair because she she just walks around here so much, so I had to I had to peel off a bunch of hair uh from the mic earlier before stream. Um Where the chat button is pushed off to the side. Really? Oh, I've never seen that happen before. Yeah, I've never seen that happen before. Uh, they decided people weren't spending enough on bits, so they decided to constantly remind you about them. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like people use bits quite a bit, though. Why do I keep making bit puns in unintentionally? I don't. I don't. I don't mean to. You rarely press it, you just hit enter. Mm. Yeah, I mean, so do I. So maybe maybe it has been a thing before, but I just haven't noticed. Um, All natural pop filter. <laughs> yeah. My mic has a built-in pop filter, but a little bit extra to, to, won't hurt, you know? The button came back for like a second because you have auto claim on, so when it auto claimed the channel points, there was enough room for the tap button. You're so frustrated about this, actually. Wait. Yeah, I've never seen that happen before. That's so weird. Yeah, BTTV and Francophase, so you can never tell if one or both are causing issues. Huh. Well, I mean, you don't have to have both BTTV and Francophase. You can just have Francophase, and then you can enable BTTV emotes in uh, Francophase, the, the extension there. So maybe it helps to just have one of them? If I'm not I'm not telling you how to live your life. If you don't want to do it, that's all on you. I'm just trying to make it easier for you. Uh you think you also have Franker Face on Firefox, but that setting button is up there like beside the profile. Yeah, I'm on mine too. Yeah. Uh and also 7 TV is supported. Why not say them all? Because I assume that you already knew that because you only said BTTV. <laughs> I assumed you already knew. But yeah. She's very cuddly right now. Um Yeah, it's been it's been raining a lot today. I think I think it's fine now though, but it's been raining so much that you know, you know how you get all drowsy and stuff when when it's raining, or is that just me? I I do at least. It's been one of those days. And um, 
The series he is not having it. <laughs> you have 7 TV and um, and BT TV so that your browser almost crashes anytime you click chat settings. Wait, but 7 TV is the worst one. Like, it, it messes up so many things. I would recommend having just Franker face, and then you don't have to have either of those. Uh, you're just too lazy to disable BTTV, and you have no idea which features of BTTV or Franker face you prefer in your chat experience. Hmm. I see. I see. You know what? Fuck that. You're right. <laughs> Should you? You still have 7 TV, but it is disabled. It was causing too many issues. Yeah, yeah. It did for me too. It was awful. It was just awful. Rainy days are good couch napping days. That is true. That is true. Today I haven't had time for it though, but I am. Um, I would have liked to. <laughs> That's why I started an hour earlier today, because I'm actually kind of kind of sleepy. Um, so I was like, I hope... Like, I don't want to end up cutting the stream short just because I'm tired or something, you know. Uh would like to go outside when ah! it rains. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Alright. Uh but you don't like your stuff or items if you had to have with you to get wet, you don't mind the water yourself. Um yeah, I feel that too. I don't have a proper like rain coat or anything. So I don't have like, and I I hate carrying around a, an umbrella, a, a, an umbrella. I can't talk. Uh, but yeah, I hate carrying those around. So I also need to figure out a way to um. Yeah, because I kind of like going out in the rain, but I don't like being all soaked. <laughs> Could just. <laughs> Look at her. Uh, she's so weird. She's so weird. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so today, what we're gonna do today is what I said uh, last time we played Baldur's Gate was that we were gonna go and meet Saravok, which uh, is related to the ball uh, stuff. And I'm kind of like, I know what I'm supposed to do, but I have never actually fought him before. And even though I'm not supposed to do that in this playthrough, I, I kind of, I'm not sure if I should try to practice that because I would have to do that in an honor mode run. And I've never tried doing that. So I, I kind of want to see, but I could also do that on my off stream playthrough. Just changed up the, the difficulty setting. Uh, to tactician and see how it goes. I really need. I really wanna um, wanna see how that goes. But yeah, so we're gonna do that. And there's also a, an armor set there. That is really good. And I had it on my my other uh, my my first playthrough. Uh, I I bought it for a starion, and it's very good, especially for him because of. Um, because of his weapons. Um. <gasps> Zoom boy? <laughs> Happy 41 months! Dude, that is insane. Happy 41 months, Zoom Boy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here for that long. I appreciate it. I don't know what you're trying to say though. Uh but I do I do appreciate the effort. Um <laughs> I hope you're doing well. I hope you are doing well. You don't mind when it's clothes that are on you, but you have to have like a backpack with you all the time if you go out. You should get like a new backpack that is not broken. You could also get like one of those um, covers for your backpack. 
like a kind of like a raincoat for your backpack. <laughs> See. Or, um, or just, I mean, how much do you carry with you? Because sometimes it's like, if I only have a few things, I just make sure that I have pockets for what I need. Um, because I don't want to, I don't necessarily feel like dragging around a backpack or, or anything. It depends. Hmm. It always depends, doesn't it? No one has claimed third today. Is no one gonna claim third? <laughs> um, you can't have pants without pockets or shorts. Yeah, but like, uh, I mean, like a jacket or something too. Make sure you have enough pockets. But they're not too big to carry all you would need. Okay, okay, I see, I see, I see. But yeah, wait, also. Uh, I'm I'm planning something fun, something I interesting. Um, I've only mentioned it in, in the mod channel though. You you should go check it out, Orion, if you haven't already. Just just saying. Um, but I w when I'm done with this uh, playthrough of Baldur's Gate three, I am gonna do an honor mode run, but it's not gonna be right away. I'm gonna take a little bit of a break from from this to get back to Elden Ring and we're gonna do a challenge run. I'm not gonna say what the challenge run is just yet though. I'm not gonna say what it is but I am gonna... I was like, do I really want to start a new playthrough of Elden Ring? Like a basic one? But then when I started thinking about what I could do to make it more interesting, both for me and for people watching, I was like, you know, now I'm kind of excited to do it because I just wasn't feeling doing a basic playthrough, um, really. So, uh, I have, I have some plans. I do have some plans. So I will not, I won't be playing the, the DLC when it comes out, but, uh, because I'm gonna be playing the, the base game first. Uh, again. I haven't played it on stream since the, the game came out. But for those of you who were here at the time, that was all I played for five months, so like, you think that this, with, with Baldur's Gate 3 is like, it's not uncommon for me to, to stick to a game for this long. <laughs> I, I played nothing but uh, Elden Ring for five months when, when it came out. So, I started playing it when it came out on, was it February 25th or what it, was it? It was around that time. And I beat it on July... No, was it June or July? The 30th... I think it was June 31st. The 31st is June, it's not July, right? <laughs> uh, but yeah, so... I don't know why I remember that. Well, I actually do. I do remember because I remember that that was when when Liz raided me and that's how I got to know her uh, because she raided me when I started playing Elden Ring. No, I mean w when I... The last stream that I played Elden Ring was when she raided me. That was when I beat the game. So that that's why I remember the date because it's like... I don't know. When, when more things happen during the same day, it's just easier for me to remember. Um, so yeah, I haven't played it on stream since, but I have played it on... For, well, for those of you who know Rods and, and Chris and Pickley, the three, no, the four of us, we, we uh, did a co-op playthrough that we finished in December. So... I have beaten it not too long ago, but it was with other people, so it wasn't quite the same. Uh, it's a lot easier when you are four people. Like, everything is, is more difficult, like, the scaling is... It does get more difficult when you are more people, but... It's still somewhat easier when you have several people to, to play with. 
that's kind of also why I was like, you know, I'm not really feeling uh, doing a, a regular playthrough again, because it's been so recent since last time. I didn't stream it though. Rods and sometimes Chris streamed it, but I didn't. Um, I was just, I was just playing, playing with them because I don't know. I'm, I'm not really that into doing uh, collab streams in that sense because there's too many things to keep track of. And I feel like I, when I have people to talk to over voice chat, I tend to neglect uh, people in chat. <laughs> I, I, and I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Um, so that's that's why I decided to not stream it. But I still wanted to play. But yeah, so that's that's what we're gonna do after uh, Baldur's Gate three. But I'm also gonna be playing something else on the side as well. Uh, I did talk about playing Nine Souls. It's funny how her tail just finds my my face every time. <laughs> Um, so it, it won't be only Elden Ring. I, I will also combine it with uh, a different game as well. June only has 30 days. Mm. I guess it is. I guess it was July then? I don't know. Ah. What was it? June 30th? I don't know. Ah, oh, cat hair on my nose. In my nose. Makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. I believe so. It's gonna. I think it's gonna be entertaining. If if people like, if it goes the way that I plan. That's all I'm gonna say. There's gonna be a lot of variety too, I would also say. <laughs> I'm excited though. I'm excited about it. So who knows how how long it will be until I play the DLC. It depends on how long I will play uh, the base game for. But I'm not gonna... I don't think I'm gonna be as thorough as I was on my first one. That's why it took five months to beat it, because I, I had a lot of long streams too. It was very common for me to stream for like eight hours at a time when when I played it on stream. And um Yeah, it still took me a while. <laughs> but we're not gonna we're not gonna be as thorough this time. But I'm probably gonna do more than just like the base uh like the 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 um, the main bosses. And I also will say that it's gonna be a new game plus playthrough as well. Um, that's, that's actually important. It is important. It's not gonna be uh, like a, from, from scratch. Um, you found many new things now that you can, you're playing it again, and also while you have been in other people's worlds, like, doing the co-op. Hmm. It's so cool. I'm glad, I'm glad. The suspense, you can't take it. Well, Orion, if you check the mod channel, you can know what it is, because I've talked about it there. So everyone who is in, in the mods channel knows, but no one else. Well, except Chris, because I've been talking to him about it, because he... He's the, the, the one who... Who, uh has the most knowledge about Elden Ring that I know. <laughs> but other than that, it's it's only only mods who who knows. But yeah. Should we should we get into the game? We can do that. We can do that. Mm -mm. Let me see. Yeah, I restarted my PC earlier as well, so a lot of things have not been been opened. I haven't played 
Well, I haven't opened the game, uh, as in Baldur's Gate, since June 9th. It's been almost a whole week. It's too long. It's too long. Tusta just is, is lying here now. Let me pause the music. Uh, you know, I played. Wait, hold on. I also need to change the game capture. It says animal well, and that is not what we, what we're playing right now. <sighs> Cat hair in my mouth too. You not played Baldur's Gate three either after the last time that you told me about. You played Minecraft. I see. I see. Let me bump up the audio. It still bothers me how the desktop audio is so low when it comes to Baldur's Gate. I'm confused now. What was the last thing we did? I mean, we went to the counting house. I do know that. Oh yeah, we were gonna find Minsk too. I for I almost forgot. Well, I mean, everything we're gonna do today is in the sewers. So, I guess. Um, there's just, it just, there just came a new update and a couple of weeks ago, a smaller update where they added new Wolf of Ryan's and you have been trying to get them all. You're so cute, you'll cry every time you find a new one. <laughs> Aww. Well, that's cute. With a new space run out and the game closed, but you delete a couple of copy saves, so it should be fine. Aww. Have you thought about buying a, an extra... Uh, hard drive or something, Orion? Until you can get a new PC. I mean, you're gonna have good use of it even if you get a new PC. So it's not like it would only be a temporary solution. Hard drives are always useful. Uh... Yeah, so we picked up this. Well, I mean, we didn't pick it up, but I, I read it last time. I don't know why I didn't pick it up, though. Just, uh, I need my keyboard, okay? <sighs> She's in a fair. Rude, but fair. <laughs> Anytime that happens, it's not, it's not intentional. <laughs> It's just, I had to move my keyboard and then I bumped into one of the buttons on my stream deck. Because Trista is in my way. A super time, yeah. You're so adorable. I believe it. I believe it. Yeah, hi, but you don't know. Just have not been able to do the research stuff. So if you should get something that could help. But also it's the CJ that's a problem and you don't have stuff there that you could... Move anywhere? Wait, what do you mean? You can move the game, the game files over to a, a different hard drive than the C drive because you don't have, you shouldn't really have them on the C drive. Mm, now you do kind of have money, so you will try to be able to get knowledge maybe so you could get one now. Yeah, one person you can maybe ask computer stuff of, but you just have not asked. I see. Some games take C drive space while playing the game, like Minecraft and Baldur's Gate 3. Can't slow down. I didn't think it, they had to, though, if you saved everything on the... 
Yeah, I bulge key through on an external hard drive, but you still still use a C drive. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Okay, let's see where we were last time. Because I don't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We stopped in the... We are still at the counting house. <laughs> we are still at the counting house. Uh, let's go to the Basilisk Gate, because that's close to the sewers. No, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, we're gonna... Not... Not here. We're gonna go to... What's it called? Uh... The shop with the, the tombstones and stuff. That's what we should do. You don't know why or if it's possible to change, but you have no knowledge or... Ah, oh, I see. I see, I see. Again, still, I'm like... I really wanted to, um... get all of, of dribbles, but at the same time, it's like, it's such a, it's so low on my priority list, you know? And I've actually heard, did you, like, I, I don't, I wouldn't consider this a spoiler, but if you do find all of dribbles, the circus will, will disappear. I actually heard of that uh, not too long ago. And I had no idea. Uh, I mean, I know we all failed a check here, but uh, maybe I need to switch out someone in my party. Uh, that's why you need uh, an IRL person to ask all the things, because it's also easier for you to understand and ask super specific questions. Hmm. You're not found all the dribbles yet, but you don't know if you can find them all. Mm, this is the room you were talking about with the perception check. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see. Oh, I, I thought you said it was in the sewers. But now you know that the people in camp can also do the thing. Check your party. Yeah. I only have. Upon you. I only have Shadowheart to do that though. Your dance card is full. Lose a partner, and there'll be room for me. Hmm. <sighs> I guess Minthara, but. I Lead the way, then. Yeah, I haven't leveled her up either. How long has it been? Oh. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. I guess I haven't had her at all in my party since, uh... Catherick, I think. All of these are just crap, so let's just, um... Have I dyed the armor? I have. It's the... Well, to be fair, this armor is also a unique armor. Um... So it already looked... Pretty unique when you got it, but it's, it's, um, color-wise, I mean. But I didn't like it. I didn't like it, so I dyed it. And this is, uh, this is the die that I've used on everything, really. On my character, on Astarian. Um, it's the black and white Harlequin die. It just works for everyone. For every, everything. 
Um, yeah, this is the, um, the, 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 the DJ, <laughs> the, the DJ outfit <laughs> that you get after, after the thing, you know? After the thing. I have insect plague, so she doesn't need that. Huh. Does this work on Raphael? I, I wonder. switch out that because that's useless um ah fine it's fine you also did go to the house of hope and you can't believe you forgot that wait you did you didn't tell me the fuck, alright? <laughs> what happened? What happened? Beseech one of these other otherworldly entities for aid. Heroes. Oh, I've heard Heroes Feast is really good. I've never tried it though. You and everyone around can't be poisoned, deceased, or frightened. Your HP increases and you make wisdom saves with advantage. Okay, we're gonna go with that. <laughs> Stuff happened using, but it was a bit funny how everything ended. Wait, so you finished it too? Stop giving me the stupid cure wo wounds because it's not useful i mean it is but it's just i don't like it when you have to um mm, i don't wanna i i'm just doing that I mean, she should probably have um, ability improvements because this is not this is not good. <laughs> this is not good. Wisdom and I think maybe we should give her Dex. I think that would be better for um, for her maybe. Sure. Uh, use the Heroes Feast if you feel useful. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people say it's really OP. Oh yeah, I'm heavily encumbered. Because I got everything Minthara has. Um, 25 gold. 25k, I mean. Weighs quite a bit. Mm. I keep forgetting to use the stupid horn. <laughs> I, I wanna, I wanna see if I can use that at all. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Hmm. Wait, no, I have to see what Minthar can can give here. 
spell slot restoration, that's pretty good. Uh, you did it before the accidental bloodbath stuff. Mm. It kind of was, but that is debatable. Wait, what do you mean? Was what was debatable? The accidental part. <laughs> it also gives like camp supplies, so you already had more than you can use. So you just overuse things to make interesting meals at long rests. Hmm. Wait, it also gives camp supplies, really? Oh yeah, she also has a lot of. Uh stuff that I was supposed to sell. What about... Oh yeah, she can't use the, the, the trident. Oh well. Yeah, so this is the armor set that you probably have seen. Uh, but the... hold on. The Dark Justice here half plate one. That is like... The very rare one. Is unique, and you only get that if you... Um, if you... become DJ Shart. <laughs> so you can only get this one for for uh, for doing that. And she gets a lot of like I haven't been able to show you but she gets so many new new spells and stuff because of because of doing that. It also gives an extra DC as well. Uh, but yeah, encase yourself with a shimmering field of magic that increases your armor class by two. So she can actually have two more in armor class. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. I haven't, I haven't used this properly at all. Oh, it's concentration. I hate concentration spells. <laughs> it's so annoying. Um, yeah, curse a creature to be haunted by darkness. It takes 2 to 16 necrotic damage if it enters or starts its turn in a lightly or heavily obscured area. I think these are attached to the gloves. Yeah. Yeah, so you get a full armor set when she becomes uh, Dark Justice here. Like, she gets the half plate, she gets the gloves or gauntlets and, and the boots. Which will give you a teleportation cantrip. Uh, and the helmet too. So she gets uh, some pretty good stuff. You know, this is actually good, that she does necrotic damage instead of, um, instead of, uh, what's it called? I forgot the name. <laughs> I forgot the name. <laughs> um, well, not holy damage, but... Um, radiant damage is what I meant to say. Because that's not good when you go to, to Raphael. That's not good when you go to Raphael. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. Mm, what was it that I was gonna do? Invisibility and blur is not that good.
Just just look at that now. She will have 24 DC now. It's insane. Do I have any use for that? I don't think so. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give her that too. Okay, I think we're ready. How many die today? How many die tomorrow? I'm gonna talk to her first and see. Shah's blessings upon you. Oh. Wait, you noticed? Wait, you noticed what? What did you notice? You have like 13 DC or something. 13, that's... Really? Even, even now in, in Act 3? They have all have very low DC, if you like. Mm. Oh, action, not reaction. Hmm. She also failed. Dude, how the fuck am I supposed to get in here now then? I don't have anyone. Dude, I don't have any one that's all i have uh how the fuck do i get in here now then this, this was never an issue before is there no way to get in here. Something good here, I hope. Oh, the radiant damage in House of Hope. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I also learned that the hard way. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. Dude, I just want to... I just want to go through here. Button on the wall. But there is no button on the wall, because I haven't perceived the button. Hey, Zen... Z Zenf? <laughs> hey, Snow Beaver. The problem is that I haven't perceived it, because everyone has failed a perception check. So we won't appear. Like, I have done this before. On a different playthrough, but that was not an issue before. But now it is. <laughs> uh, you didn't know what DC did, and now you're too lazy to change gears because you like the armor and it's the bard armor and with all the trinkets and stuff. Yeah, but I mean, you don't always get DC from from uh, armor. You get it from a lot of different things, like. But am I going to play the Elden Ring DLC on release? No, I'm not going to be playing all on release. I actually talked about it a little bit at the beginning of stream that I'm going to be... Once I'm done with this playthrough, I'm going to start a new playthrough of Elden Ring. And then I'm going to be playing the DLC when I'm done with that playthrough. Um, and then I'm going to go back to Baldur's Gate 3 at some point to do an honor mode run as well. I might do that at the same time as I'm playing Elden Ring, though. We'll see. Yeah, the, the... I don't know. I don't know. I think that the button is supposed to appear here, but there's no way to find it when when everyone failed a perception check. And I feel like this, this shouldn't be the case. Like, this is too important to fail, you know?
Oh. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, well, let's just let's just try and see. But I don't think that I did that on my first playthrough. I I don't think I had to do that. Locked door has red text on it reading All are waited, all are embraced, none shall escape. Hmm. Uh when the fight ended in has a hope Utah was dead dead and Carlac and, and Shadowheart were downed and while you're in the cutscene with Hope as Lazel, they were rolling the death saves and it was like fire and we were pleased to wait so I won't get down on the <laughs> It was so intense. Mm. Well, at least you saved hope though. You missed that button even after you looted the pa painting. All party... Plus you failed perception check. Well, let's do this first. Oh. Wait, I, I could have used, uh... Actually, you know, might as well use when I have three. It reminds you of the symbol people say has been seen at recent ritual murder sites. You should investigate those serial killings. Hmm. But I didn't I didn't feel the the perception check in my first playthrough, so I was like, wait, how am I supposed to do this now? You gave her sanctuary from Shadowheart and well like you're not changing her dying and only used to heal others. Hmm. I don't know how I managed to keep her alive in mine. But there there was so many things that I didn't know about. Wait, I actually shouldn't say that out loud because you haven't finished the game yet. Um But I made I made a stupid mistake when I was done because I had a concentration spell going. I don't know. I think it was I think it was clouded daggers, but I'm not entirely sure if it was that or a different one. That made both hope and uh your gear hostile towards me. At the end of the fight, because they ended up walking through it before I got to remove it. So I just had to leave uh, before I could talk to them. <laughs> Which really sucks, because I, I forgot to go back to talk to them, too. Hmm. Wait, I should send that to Shadowheart as well. You also forgot your gear. That's also a bit funny. What happened? Wait, what happened? What happened? Actually, now that I think about it, I should probably use the. I'm ready. I moved stuff around, so now it's all messed up. Yeah, when I had hope, uh, I, I used uh, divine interven intervention because I was like, well, she's not going to be a companion anyway, and I can only use it once, so might as well use it when when I have her. <laughs> I didn't think that I would have her in my party for any longer than that, so. What was it that I... Oh, yeah, yeah, Heroes Feast. That's the one. Wait, hold on. Maybe, maybe Starion should... Uh, have them out. Let's get on with it. Yeah, they take a little while to load in. <laughs> also, wait, hold on. I've never used this before. But that's also level six uh, spell slot. 
but I can I can I can replenish um uh, you know that's actually pretty good let's just do this because I don't I'm I'm trying to experiment a little bit and see see uh Yeah, I never tried do, uh, using these before. Charm, we don't need charm. Race of fire. Smite. Revivify. Hmm. Call us the air in a fra uh, fragrant but vicious whirlwind that restrains those within. Huh. Compel foes toward you with an intoxicating wind that makes them drunk. Huh. I would say the, the djinn or the deva is probably the most useful ones. Yeah, we're having an odd. Oh, damn. Um. I mean, doesn't she also have a revivify? Yeah, maybe. I'm I'm not sure which one to use. Uh, we can we can try this one. Wait, it looks like an actual human like NPC. I've never I've never seen this. <laughs> okay, and now she can use that dude, this is this is so cool. I I never uh I'm gonna see how how all of this works together. Still breathing, despite everything. Just too bad that um, I don't have. Scratch. If not over, then through. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. I didn't know there was grease here. The trap. Just as I expected. Okay. In the fight, your gear actually died, unfortunately, because you forgot he was there, invisible, and used uh, something that also hit him, so the next attack roll blasted him, but the fight was so tough. I think it might have been the one of the most toughest for you, or up, it's up there at least. Mm. Yeah, I hear that a lot of people say that. Um... The House of Gr Grief was tough also, but one big reason was that it crashed every time some of them made attacks and it was so bad you had to do it so many times, again and again. Mm. Yeah, I think maybe... Shall we? The House of Grief has been the one that most people have said has been the toughest one overall. Okay, there was, uh... 
Let's see. Yeah, that's the annoying thing. She doesn't have aid. I was supposed to have aid for her. Even used some of the fireworks at the entrance for a uh, few people to even it out a bit. Mm. <laughs> it's because of it's because of um, um, the Raphael fight that I've been collecting a bunch of uh, barrels because I'm planning on on placing them before the fight starts. <laughs> Wait, did I forget to add a spell? Really? Wait, oh, she does have aid. Never mind, I'm just blind. <laughs> I am just blind. Wait, she's still trickery domain? I didn't know that I hadn't changed that. Oh well. Forty-two. Each of the ghouls have forty-two now, and I didn't even use that, dude. That's that's wild. Okay. Well, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. I do need to make sure that I use Shadowheart more, uh, actually, because One I won't be using break. like I won't be having her as a a dark just this year. Uh, in a different playthroughs, so I kind of wanna I kind of wanna check it out. Hey, you can do it. I believe in you. You were still shocked when the music started in the Raphael fight. Like, all the music in Has a Hope was so nice, but it gave you a creepy a creepy vibes as well. The scratch also is from 5 to 27. Yeah. Did, did I see the box that got there from when I used the spell? Wait, which box? What do you mean? I don't know what you mean. I mean, I don't know if we're gonna fight him, but I'm just, um... There was a box, like a container. But I, I, I looted everything there, didn't I? Oh, that can't- no, I didn't see that. Well, it disappeared. And nothing shows up when I use alt either, so it's not here. Oh, wait. Never mind, it is. Yeah, I guess I... <laughs> wait. But I have so many camp supplies. I don't... I didn't know that that was a thing, too. It's actually wild. I got a pizza, though. It's always a win. Now I got more? Thank you, Ryan. Damn, that's actually very interesting. I've never tried using uh, Hero's Feast before. Yeah, I thought that that would be a struggle with uh, playing on Tactician. Having enough camp supplies, but it's not been an issue at all. Present me well from gifts thine own. 
or I shall rend thy flesh from bone. I offer myself, there's no finer offering than the poison fruit of bottle lords. <laughs> um, I killed to be here and took the victim's hand as proof. A grasping hand, an offering vile. Enter now the dread lord's trial. Was it hard at the beginning? No. Because I didn't use long rests that often. I just used partial rests quite a lot. Because I was scared of using them up. <laughs> but I also like I wasn't I wasn't struggling either. Um I just I was just trying to be cautious. You still can't believe what happened to you here? Hey, you made the choice, okay? I can't believe what happened to me here, you say, and you, you, you chose it. What do you mean? I don't know why I keep uh, walking around here and trying to loot and stuff. I've actually seen a clip of when you're a... Uh... You gaze upon murder's progeny, child. His most ill-trusted zealots. His faithful departed. Prodigal servants. Each returns to do his bidding eternally. This is the court of the dread Lord's Tribunal. I am its custodian. Here come those who seek to transcend. Aspirants of his most profane order. The would-be unholy assassins of Baal. But you are no mere aspirant. I did not expect to see you again. So it is true. You have returned. Saravok Anchev, a Baal spawn who failed to become chosen long ago. Spilled stain of father's divine essence left out to dry. Is he your cousin, great uncle, brother even? Baal's bilious waters are always a little murky. Hmm. Yeah, I was like, this is going to be interesting now because... All the ball stuff is, uh, it's going to be very different when you're, uh, a dark urge. But yeah, what I was going to say was I actually saw a clip of someone who played as a dark urge when, when they kind of, uh, summon someone you've killed or something and in the beginning you can have the choice to chop off Gale's hand um, and then that will kill him and I saw that Gale was the one who was being summoned here which was uh, <laughs> kind of interesting <laughs> I didn't do that though. I was like, I didn't know that he would die from from chopping off his hand. Um, but I I didn't do it. I just slapped his hand. <laughs> hey, it's a Serufian. You doing? You generally thought you still had the chance to like not do it, but you guess that is your fault. I mean, you have the choice if you reload. That's true. You did have the chance, but you mean like do it the way you thought was possible? You gaze? Who who is who is who is the gaze here now? Uh you wonder if you could go back to dispose of 
for you it was Gortash? Oh. I don't remember who it was for me. It could be so many, though. I don't remember now. It didn't seem like anyone important, though. Slap the hand, yeah. You couldn't reload because you would have had to... Because the issues you have and you got the trophy achievements. Hey, I did the same thing in my first playthrough. It's fine. Um, you seem to know me. Have we met before? I mean, I'm guessing we probably have. I have heard it said you lost your memories. Let me revive them. In times past, I was Baal's deathbringer, his acolyte, and you, his favorite child. You worshipped him the way that he would wish. Your bloodlust innate. Your thirst for butchery. Unslakeable. But you were foolish enough to think yourself untouchable. You didn't see Orin rising through the ranks. You were blinded by her artistry. Her devotion. You believed she worshipped you as much as all the others. Your fall was as spectacular as your birth. The purest ball spawn there ever was. Ruined by her own hubris. But now, you have returned. Tell me. Are you here to have your vengeance on my granddaughter? Hmm. What do you mean, vengeance? Okay, I'm kind of curious to see that. <laughs> what do you mean, vengeance? <laughs> is it something new that we don't know? I don't- I want to know. It is your right. Arin only seeks the body and favor you were born to inherit. Mm. She may have usurped you once, but all her rites and rituals will never match her to your natural gift. Baal is about to name a new chosen. All is between you and my granddaughter Arin now. And Arin has much to learn. Our Lord does not care for beauty. Baal cares only for death. Death in numbers. Death in droves. It is a lesson Arin will only learn in death. I wonder if you will be the one to teach her. So you want me to kill your granddaughter? <laughs> Uh, you wonder what would happen if you bring Jahira with you here? That's a good question. I don't remember who I brought with me in my first playthrough. I Well, no, that's actually not true. I know exactly who I brought. Um, and the unfortunate thing is uh, when you kill the, the, the elephant dude, the one who gets the final blow before he dies is the one who ends up... Um, getting the cutscene. And for me, that felt so bad because it was Karlak and I didn't know. And I, I reloaded just for that because I was like, no, Karlak is the last person who should do this. <laughs> so I was like, I can't do that to her. I had to reload and make sure that it was my my character. I didn't know though. Like, I didn't know that it was just the, the one who killed, like the had the final the land, land, the Landed the final blow would be the one to get the cutscene. I didn't know that. So, uh, I reloaded, so I made sure that I... <laughs> like, it wasn't an important thing. So, it wasn't like... It didn't actually change anything, it was just... For my own peace of mind. <laughs> um, because it doesn't actually matter who does it. 
but I, yeah, yeah. Would it be like an instant fight? I don't know. I don't know. That's a good point, though. Because they definitely have history, you know? You were flabbergasted to hear that he and Orin are related, but you guess it makes sense. Mm. Gorbeck thanks me. <laughs> well, I'm glad. I'm glad. How did it go, though, Sarah? How did the, 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 the match go? When you ghoul slapped the NPC once and then it was your tab's turn and you blasted it with, like, upcasted blight spell? <laughs> yeah, she has already challenged me herself. We will duel to the death. Oh, I, I'm... I was like, should we do that today? But I'm also like, does it matter if I go to Raphael first or if I do... Like, if I go to Orin first? Because I really want to do this before I do anything else, mainly because I just want to have Gale back. Um, came here to become an unholy, unholy assassin, not to clean up after your offspring, offspring. You want me to kill your own granddaughter? I mean, this is the the truth, though. She she has challenged me. She seeks to sacrifice you in our father's temple. She dreams that your corpse will be her masterpiece. But she forgets. Before your incident, you were the true master. You were murder. Pure murder. No excesses. No pretensions. I believe you will be the one to slay Arin. And when you do, remember Grandfather Saravak. Remember how he helped you. Return to visit him. And tell the blood-drenched tale of your victory. We have a sacrifice prepared for you, child of murder. Let us celebrate your becoming. I guess this is very different then. When, um... When you're, uh... A Dark Urge. Because now we didn't get to see the... The ghost. Spain one three to zero. Good start. Wait, what are you doing? Uh, but then you got flowers delivered. Think that's the first time you had flowers delivered. Who who delivered flowers to you? Well, that's cool. I uh, had to go next door to borrow a vase and have the landlord put the flowers in the vase. <laughs> Wait, was it related to, to the book signing thing or was it something else? Uh, how did the dirge then get the memories of all jiggle jumbled? Um, because Orin uh, basically busted my skull in. Apparently did to the point where, uh, like, pretty drastically, too, from what I've heard. Um, Mason's journal. Didn't even need to do the dialogue with how you killed, uh, killed someone. Well, yeah, because as the Dark Urge, and he knows my story, it's like... If I'm even worse than Orin, then <laughs> what proof do I need? It's like, he knows more about me than I do. Never in all the years of my craft have I felt I was carving my own tomb. This armored husk I once thought a man. He 
was trapped here during the renovations. While he says I'm free to leave, the work is done. Ill made her this god's awful smell. I'm no fool. Hmm. I didn't even need to wait. Um, my party. Yeah, I I just I just wanted to to. Um, I wanted to use the the heroes feast and everything and aid, so I just I just decided to summon everything that I had, that could be summoned, <laughs> to see how how much health I could get, for everyone. It, it, I'm just experimenting here because like I'm not even sure if I'm gonna do any combat here, and he did ask me to come, and talk to him after I had killed Orin too. Um, which. Does he ask that on your tab? Because if so, I forgot to come back. <laughs> I forgot to come back. Um, dinner planning? Teaching? Tribunal prison key. Okay, it's just... Let's give it a shot. Um, some flower shop downtown, but ordered by your family. I think your big sister was the main brain behind it. To congratulate on the book thing. Oh, that's sweet. That is sweet. Guess it makes sense. He didn't ask you anything like that. Hmm. Chief for gore? Wait, who for gore? Me? Yeah, I did for gore. I, I even for gore what I- what you mean that I for gore. But if you go back, you will give him bonk with the wrong food for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of tempted to just kill him anyway to see how it goes. I mean, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do it in the right order though. I'm gonna come, get, come back after Warren. You did talk to him after the bath. <laughs> the three others. Uh, yeah, but I meant like after killing Orin. That I forgot to go back to him as my tab. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I don't know if he asked me to do it. I feel like that's a dark urge thing. Maybe. Not sure though. I can't remember everything, you know? I do wonder though if we should go in and fight Orin, but like I don't- I'm kind of nervous about it. Also, this is so OP. I need to make sure that I get every scroll of these on my honor mode run because I don't think I'm gonna play as a sorcerer. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna play as a sorcerer on that. Mm. But this has been so useful. Like, Cazador was easy with this. <laughs> the same with Gortash too. It was, it made it so easy. And I'm gonna use it in the <laughs> in the Raphael fight as well. Because I'm planning on blasting the whole room uh with the barrels, so I, you know. Yeah, I'm not even found Orin yet. You're scared of the game ending. Mm, well, I mean I don't know. If it helps, I don't know if you wanna know, but there's quite a bit in between the two. The ending of the game and and killing Orin. You think you're on the way there? Mm. You're afraid of the Karlak ending, so you refuse to continue to play. <laughs> but you know that she, you you know you know that uh, there are ways. Let's let's do this. Come, 
child of Baal. Offer thanks unto your father this for asshole. your birth. And in so doing, be reborn anew. Slaughter this celestial being. Spill its blood into the void. And through eradication of its goodness, be exalted. Hmm. To strangle her with his own trunk? Yes. It will make a fine pair of ivory daggers. What? <laughs> this was definitely not a thing before. So this, all of this dark urge stuff. In my father's name, I will sacrifice this creature. Blood will be spilled, Saravok. I will slaughter you. Well, that's not dark urge, but it shall play a symphony of screams with its jump. <laughs> Dude, there are so many weird options here. <laughs> I kind of want to see. What do you guys think? Uh, I just, I just want, I just want to see what you guys think because, like, the all of these are kind of silly. <laughs> well, except four, but that's kind of boring too. But uh, that wasn't Carlac, and she didn't sound happy to you. That was a bad ending. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Who or what is Sicarius? I think... Isn't that like a... Um, a Latin word or something? Because I know that it also is a part of, like... Doesn't it mean something specific in Spanish, too? I don't know what, though. I mean, you could always Google it. This was the point you had two options, to accept or refuse, and if you wanted to fight, you would have rather done it before this room than you think. Hmm. Just click on the number, yeah. Yeah, it's just to click on the number. Hold on. Well, it's a lot of different things. Um, let's just say that it's 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 uh, it's very relevant. It's related to murder and stuff, so you know, um, fitting, I suppose. Okay, let's uh, let's pick two then. Spare no violence for the Dreadlord's grace, and savor every moment of the creature's slaughter. Wait, this this one has initiative? Hold on. Also, oh yeah, I was at ninety nine. I was like, I was surprised because I don't really have a lot of. Uh, well. It's starting to prove anymore because it's usually at a hundred, but it was just because it was a nine and nine. We're fighting sure drunk homes. I I tend to call him. Um, I tend to call him. Well, what did I call him in my first playthrough? I, I think I just called him. Discount Dumbo or something? I just I just did not like this character at all. Someone will stop you, Barless. When they do, I hope it hurts. Actually, you know what? Might as well get him to to do. Actually, no. I should I should have used the. Luck of the Far Realms. I just want to see if this is enough to kill him. Citizen, stop this at once! Citizen, stop this at once! 
it, it was not enough. That's unfortunate. I used up the bite. Hold on. Yeah, I just want to see how when I when I saved. Because the next one will end up killing him and I don't want them to be in the cutscene. <laughs> Wait, who will be in the cutscene if if you kill him? Like, will it be the, the, the Deva here? That would be kind of silly, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would not, but I know that. But I guess he's stuck. You always think of saving when it's too late and you really need to reload. I I, I end up saving very often. Try me without these chains on, coward. I mean, I'd like to see what you would do. No. I don't want Lazel to be in the cutscene. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Come on, come stay idle. Should it be me? I don't want to use a spell, though. You picked the wrong fight, friend. Devella. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't want to use a spell. It seems so silly when he, he can't even attack back, you know? You save so often, but now you can't because the PC issues and give, gives you the stress. Mm. No, scratch. You're not going to do anything. I guess it's going to be a star. <laughs> wow, that's that's awful. That's That's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Uh, citizen, stop this at once. Really? How could you miss? Ow. What? Oh, it's me. Oh. Behold, Father Baal, your lost child, bathed anew. Arise. I guess it's because I'm a dark witch. Assassin. Wait, that was a cool screenshot. His most unholy will be done. Yeah, when Karlak did this, she was also smiling in an evil way. Like, this is not right. This this feels wrong. So I reloaded. Take this amulet, child, and return it to your father's chamber. You are the true inheritor of his will, and he would smile to see you wear it. Cleanse the temple of Arin's girlish shrines. And bring your primal slaughter back to Baal. There is nothing more I can teach you. But if you bring about her death, return to me. We shall revel in the divine memory together as family. Imagine talking about your granddaughter that way. Assassin does have a certain ring to it. Hmm. Investigation priorities. Yeah. Oh, we don't have to read that. Um. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, it it just felt wrong having her um come out of the, the blood like that. So I just I just reloaded until before I I was done with the fight. <laughs> Let's have a look. Valerius hooker uh oh. Valerius trunk bomb. Valerius snuff. Mm. So basically we did him uh, a favor. At least he wouldn't die from cancer, you know. Let's see. Um small gilded chest. Walk in death. Do I have a key for that? No, I don't. Don't touch me. I have a feeling that when I come back here, uh, after killing Orin, that I have to fight him anyway. Like that he he would want to become the chosen instead or something. Memoirs of my death. Because he, he he failed to become the chosen of Baal. That's what they said. So maybe he wants us to kill Orn for him so he doesn't have to, and then he can kill us or something? I don't know. I don't know. I kind of got that vibe as well, because, like, party with a death cult just feels like there is going to be murder. Mm. Yeah. This is a memoir describing in detail the visions of Baal sent, uh, seen by Saravok Anshev after his death in the Baal temple centuries ago. The brethren often ask me, what was it like to die? They expect me to present a warring conflict, the humiliation of defeat against the honor of sacrifice. But once dead, it is impossible to think of oneself, of life, for you are in Baal's own embrace. Baal's domain is a red waste wasteland in a starless sky, halted in time before the collapse of the final sun. There I wandered, tasting the end of all things. I was dragged back from the precipice, bound to a living husk again by my mocking sibling. I resented it at first, had forgotten how to breathe, to eat, all the animal functions of the petty who cling to life. But when I was cruelly resurrected, my faith was bolstered once, uh, bol bolstered more through my death than it could be through life. I would bring about Ball's perfect finale, the melting of the crimson sun above the lakes of blood. It will happen. This world will be carved in his image. No I see, I see. If you go back there, it would be fight. Should have asked how he's still alive. <laughs> Uh, How much farther can I go? <laughs> you go get some to drink. Do it. Do it. Is this the key to the chest that we just found? Because that's so annoying. It happens to me all the time. I lockpick everything, and then I find the key to what I lockpicked right after. I wonder if they have anything to say after that. The amulet of Baal. It's hardly a triumph of fashion, but it does have its uses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was so hoping you'd say that. Until later then. Hmm. I hope that amulet proves to be worth it. It will be. With that amulet, the Lord of Murder has claimed you. Let us see what you make of his gift. What do you mean? You need the amulet to get past the door anyway. Uh, you want something to snack on, but don't really have anything like that. 
you only have four lockpicks left because you don't have the best decks. Mm. That's why you need a Starion, because with him it's just easy. It's it's nothing. <laughs> he never fails. See, this is the one. This is the one that sells the armor that we want. Spawn. You speak to another of your fallen family. It is heartening to see a child once again brimming with promise. All us wretched specters, Baal's failures, are watching your rise with great anticipation. In life, I was a Barzigal, kin killer of the five. In death, I serve our father still until the world grows silent. I offer you instruments which will aid in enacting your foul whims. I found an effigy of your death? Wait, really? Wait, what? The weakness was my disgrace, but it was an honor to give myself to Baal's embrace. There is no shame greater than failing in his service. But even so, each death is a gift. Hmm. I never heard of a dragonborn ball spawn. I mean, to be fair, the actual dark urge is like the the default dark urge is a dragonborn. <laughs> I am no half-blooded drake. Alive, I was a dragon of pure cerulean chrome, but oft the need arose to disguise myself thus. Yes, Father Baal mated with a true dragon. Pray one day you have the honor of doing the same. I, you know, I'll pass. I, I don't really feel the need to do that. So, you know, I'm good. The five. My order of Father's Spawn were among the first to carve the philosophy that Saravok's death began. We led our worship by killing the weakest of our own line, writing kinslaying into the cannon. We hunted down his insipid fledglings in droves until we were all that was left. All but Saravok's own murderer, who murdered me in turn. Hmm. No, I think he meant a dragon. That you too can mate with a dragon. <laughs> but I think I'll pass. You forgot to do with someone else because you can give them the bard inspiration. Mm. You also had the dialogue option, but you don't know what it meant at all. Ballist gloves. Oh, garot. Oh, I have not seen anyone use garot uh, like since the, the 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 things in in Act Two. You know the the monkey looking things that makes you garroted, and it's so annoying. I hate it. But having it myself, wrap a shadow rope around a humanoid creature's throat to start garroting it. Hmm. But I really like having the, the plus two bonus to armor class with the ones that I have. <laughs> um, no, uh, Shadowheart has the money. See, I have 26,340 now. This is the armor that I put on Astarian. Um, enemies within two meters become vulnerable to piercing damage unless they are resistant or immune to it. That's why it's so good for him, because he uses daggers. So he does piercing damage. And gain a plus two bonus to initiative rolls. I mean, you know... Yeah. Even though I love the armor that he has on right now, but... 
Uh, you can see in the dark up to three meters. In addition, you gain a plus two bonus to initiate rolls. I just don't know if this actually works in the in the temple. on a critical hit with a weapon or unarmed attack it deals an additional seven damage hmm. wait what is this one part the flesh thrust forward with diabolical precision possibly stymieing your target's ability to heal I mean, most of my enemies don't tend to heal. When you score a critical hit, deal an additional 1 to 6 force damage. Isn't that similar to one, the ones he has? You sneak attack, deals an additional 1 to... S These are actually better. Like, he does sneak attacks, but... He also does critical... Like, he gets critical hits more often, though. While its wheel wielder is hidden, this weapon deals an extra... No, I mean... The mortal view, eyewitness accounts of the ball spawn crisis, missives of Candlekeep. I wonder why these are here. So I, I, I'm nosy. I want to buy them. <laughs> also, dude, I have so much money. Why, why not buy everything? Well, not everything, but. You know, I'm just going to buy these two. Also, it lasts until short rest. He already has the eye, so he doesn't need it. Eager for battle. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to work to do. We're going to buy. This is actually kind of cool. Wait, is this new? Because when Shadowheart isn't a dark just this year, she... Like, when she dyes her hair, her picture t has stayed the same, hasn't it? It hasn't changed to blonde. Or white, or gray, whatever. Um, or it's silver, I don't know. Seven thousand three hundred. <laughs> uh, wait, I also forgot that I had a bunch of stuff here too. Yeah, you don't need that. You can you can sell that. Hmm. Wait. I forgot to equip that on her. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. <laughs> I forgot to equip it. Okay. We're done now. Bring deaths for Baal. 
hallowed child, or die in his name. We don't remember that effect. Wait, what what effect? Um, what effect are you talking about? Garroted? Um, it will like deal damage to you every round. Um, I don't remember the specifics. I just remember that as long as you're garroted, you will uh, take damage. But I think it, I think it's like necrotic. No, is it necrotic damage? Let's see. Uh, Astorian is gonna use- wait. Oh, he's encumbered now. <laughs> well, hello. How, though? Yeah, so I had this- this outfit on him until the end. On my first playthrough as well. Because this armor is just- it was like it was meant for for him. That's too good. I do want to die it though. Mm, why is he? Why does he have so many things that he can't use or have no use for? Wait, couldn't that be good for- no, I don't- Look at all the- <laughs> All the buffs that he has. Damn. That's wild. Yeah, so his arm- uh, his AC went up one as well. He's gonna do a lot more damage now. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where should we go? I mean, we have to go back. Let's get going. Moving ahead. Those are annoying. Mm. Also, you got chased by the hell balls and uh, has of hope, and that was a bit funny and scary. <laughs> yeah, I just I just ran away from them. I didn't even try to attack them. Have you traversed Act Two? How have I traversed Act Two Shadow Curse? Um, so I've done that three times now. Uh, in my first playthrough and on my off-stream playthrough. And in this one, and it's been. It was different in two of them. Like the in my first one, I had to go to Moonrise Towers and get a lantern from Balthazar's office. Um. So I actually went like I walked around with a lantern, but I didn't have to listen to the stupid, annoying. Um, fairy. Pixie, I mean. Uh, on my off stream one, I killed the, the Drider and got. I got the lantern. But I didn't. I didn't release her because I didn't know. I didn't know that it would, uh. That she could give me, like, a blessing that would do the same thing. I didn't know that at the time. So, 
I kept her around to, until I got to Moonrise Towers. So I had to listen to her and it was so annoying. It was so annoying. And then I was like, I'm gonna release her once I get the other lantern. And then when I realized, I was like, oh. I didn't even have to get the other lantern. <laughs> so on my... Like, on this playthrough, I just released her right away. So I guess I actually did three different things. I did different things on each of my playthroughs so far. It didn't manage to kill them, but it took some maneuvering. Wait, who? Yes, I've, I've done uh, different things every time. <laughs> Oh, the ball. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, I was like, you know, they they didn't move too much. Uh, should we go here now? Do, do you guys, do you think that's a good... <laughs> no, I, I feel like it doesn't matter if you do the Raphael stuff first or if you do the Orin stuff first. I feel like it doesn't matter. Like, it won't lock you out of anything. But I'm not gonna do anything now, when there's an ad. Um... Your tab is trusting a lot, so you released it and you were so ready to be cursed. <laughs> they chase you through the hallway all the way. Well, yeah, but they, they... if you use dash... The circus of the last days has returned. See Dryad's Jin and Dribbles the Clown. They won't be able to with a new act. They won't be able to catch up to you. So they didn't actually do any damage to me, or at least very little. I'm just gonna dye his armor. Because I don't, I don't, I don't like this basic ass color. Well, actually, it's more like I don't like the 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 black and red together. It just, I don't know. I did save, so I'm just gonna try each of them. Do I have any sponges? Like, I tend to not bother cleaning them up or anything, but now I just want to see the the colors properly. Do I not have a sponge? Or soap? Let's see. Still alive, so that's progress. A long way to go still. What a day. Really? No one? I have to have it somewhere. Maybe Gale has some on him. That would be typical. <laughs> um. It was nice because then when you got to the new, the news place, that was cool. Wait, what was cool? I wish there was like a search bar for um, your inventory here. Because I know that I have some soap or sponges somewhere. But I can't see it. <laughs> I can't see it. I 
know that there's a tree with sponges. Intestines throb. Blood whispers. Can't afford to stay idle. Dude, that is so annoying. I just want to see the colors properly, but I mean, to be fair, he's going to be bloody most of the time, so it's fine. Feywild, green, and Dundai. Probably not going to look very good. Actually, you know, I don't, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. This is the, the Swedish die. Um, usually uh, always terrible. Yep. <laughs> so bad. It's so bad. Oh no. <laughs> You're not able to run away because there was also the other stab you had to fight and usually you don't remember you can just dash away. Mm. I'm not gonna use this but I, I just want to test out all the black dyes because they are usually, you know, not bad. I just don't like the blue uh, shade. Like that particular shade of blue. This is this is the winner. Like this is what I'm counting on. I'm gonna use on this. It wasn't it wasn't as good as I thought because I didn't I wasn't expecting all the gray stuff here. But it's not bad. It just wasn't as good as I thought it would be. This is actually uh, just the same colors that it had originally, but better. Like, this one looks better. <laughs> um. But yeah, you can use sponges to, to clean away blood and, and dirt and stuff. Yeah, I kind of like it. I kind of like this. It's so quiet. It's terrible. Swamp green. Yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to test out all of them. This one tends to be okay. Bloody plum. This one usually doesn't look that good. Oh no. I wish you got this contrast though with other colors, just a different combination of colors. Because purple and, and red together, or like and doesn't doesn't look good. Hmm. Brown alabaster dye is also usually a pretty good one. You know what? actually kind of kind of like this it's similar to what i had just with brown instead of gray or like a grayish brown Br browned by the way i kind of like this i have to say uh pale pink <laughs> oh no this is I, I i'm too newsy wait this this was not at all what i expected um Peach and it. okay, this is a terrible die. Yeah, this is a terrible die. Cobalt. This is actually a good one. 
if I remember correctly. Uh. Bed. No. Wait, this one just says die. Combine this die with an equipment item to alter the colors of fabric. What? But what die is it? It just says die. It doesn't say what color it is. Is this used for something else? I wonder if this is something you combine with uh, something that isn't equipable. Now I'm, I'm... I don't know. Okay, but we're gonna reload so that I can use the... I'm gonna use the brown alabaster dye. That was the best one in my opinion. Um, because you had helped the pixie in the lantern, the one in the news place was helpful. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was... that happened here. Yeah, that's true. That happened with me as well. I've never tried doing the, the news, uh, like the, the, um, the newspaper thing. I just, I just had them print the story about me in the, in the first, in my first playthrough. So it wasn't until this one that I, I tried doing this. Or tried doing that, I mean. But yeah, it was helpful to me as well. Okay, and we're gonna... We're gonna save there. Hopefully... The... I need to see if the... How these will look now. Well, they... Didn't really change much. His cloak can stay the same. That's not it. Yeah, the, the dice are very uh, questionable most of the time. <laughs> I'm probably just going to keep this the way that it is, but I'm, I'm just kind of curious to see. I do like this, though, on my character. It, it fits very well. Uh, you just use water and then be wet for a little bit. <laughs> most of the time you just use the most ultimate way to clean blood, sleeping. Mm. I tend to not care now. Now I, I just, I just kind of, oh damn. It kind of adds some extra flavor to it, you know? <laughs> the extra blood. Let's see how this one looks in this color. You know? I kind of like that the, the shirt became white underneath there. Let's see. It doesn't really suit my character, though, to, to have... Oh! Okay, I think we're gonna- I think we're gonna stick with this. <laughs> I think we're gonna stick with this one. Okay, let's- let's leave. You put news about cats? You, uh, me too! That's what I did too. Wait. Was that the time I did it? Wait, wait, that's probably it, yeah. Dude, I didn't even think about that. I was like, I was also very confused about that quote.
Look at that. Wait. My, my leg is clipping through. I don't like the color in the daylight, though. <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, should we go to the sewers? Is that what we should do? I just- I, the only reason why I want to do the, the stuff with Orin is just because I want to- I want to get Gale back. I want to get Gale back. Uh, when it's been too long, that knowledge just disappears. <laughs> yeah, that that is how it usually goes. Olsen has been gone in most of your Act 3 stuff. Mm. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit. No, never mind. We're gonna- we're gonna go and, and find, um... Forgetting about Minsk. <laughs> we were anointed unholy assassin at the murderer tribunal, gaining access to the temple ball. We need to find Orin there if we are to rescue her victim in time. I mean, we don't really have a time limit, though. <laughs> Let's be real. We slew the holophant investigator Valeria and must bathe in her blood to become unholy assassins. Wait, Valeria is a she? I actually had no idea. Uh, we became unholy assassins of Ball at the cost of Investigator Valeria's life. We were we wedded ourselves with her blood and were granted a way to access the Temple of Ball. We entered the sewers. The Stone Lord must be here somewhere. Yeah, we can we can do the the Minsk stuff first. I guess. And it's like the the end soon, but it's. It's gonna be fine, Orion, because uh, the orange stuff isn't the end. Okay, let's see. Because I want to get Gale so he can do the. the like his quest too, you know. Oh wait, wait, wait! No, I know where I need to go. Gray Harbor docks, uh, because I'm gonna go through the door, so I end up exactly where they are. Then we don't have to walk through the entire sewers. Uh, it just felt like the end when you entered I-3, so it's not going to help because you get close to the actual end all the time. I mean, that's true, but... Act 3 is the longest act after all. By far. <laughs> Which is surprising because it's like it's a very small area overall. All the coin seems to be there, if a little blood stained. You lot are enthusiastic about your lord's work. Our lady. We serve only the absolute. Oh, silly me. We send to him are so long past our own godly roots. I'm afraid I forget the half of them. But you, I know. When did you start worshipping gods? Did they give your wee rodent a worm friend, too? <coughs> rodent? Enough! You will show the Stone Lord proper respect. And you will return to the Guild Hall and do as we have paid you to. Of course. I only thought... Wait. And suddenly... Another presence looms in your mind. Another tadpole. Some sneak thief lurks nearby. The same one I sensed in the counting house. 
I can taste your thoughts, coward! Come out, so I may spill them on the ground! Hmm... <laughs> yeah, I did, I did. Um... I mean, we can try. Twenty-five, okay. Well, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Four. <laughs> okay, that's impressive. Oh wait, I have- oh wait, okay, we need to use an inspiration then. I can't have four inspiration. That's too much. Uh... I kind of want to try again, just to see. Okay, never mind. Up all you wish, little fish. But Minsk has caught you. On that note, good luck. The job will be done by the time you get to the guild hall. This time I'm gonna try to um I'm gonna try to knock him out. Even if I have, uh, if an, even if I don't have Jahir, I'm gonna see what happens. You also failed to catch the person. Nov Schmoz. <laughs> that's that's a name. They have the stupid unstoppable stuff. I hate it. But at least now we have it gone. I wish the dash wasn't an action point. I wish it was a bonus action instead. Well, that's rude. Also, Shadowheart got stuck on the tunnel behind Minsk for the whole fight, so she couldn't do anything. But you didn't feel like the fight was too bad anyway. Yeah, no, the, the fight is... Definitely not bad. That's annoying. Well, she can just summon that, I guess. Jahira. Jahira. 
Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Welcome in! Welcome in! <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid! Thank you so much! Welcome in! Welcome in! Uh, is it is it tur just turtle turtles? Is that how I pronounce your name? Well, thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream? You were also playing Baldur's Gate three. Nice. Where are you in the game? <laughs> uh. Hi, heaven. How you doing? And and turtles. <laughs> and I Isra, is that how you say your name? But yeah, welcome in, guys. Uh, also, if you are new here, which you probably are, uh, my name is Reprikos. I am a Norwegian streamer. I'm currently playing Baldur's Gate 3. For the second time on stream, I'm playing as a Dark Urge. So we're, we're kind of doing in like an, an evil type of playthrough. <laughs> so, um, and we are now in Act 3, getting close to the end. Um, getting close to the end. And uh, we have just found Minsk. I don't know if we're gonna we, we're gonna try to see how that goes, um, but it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> but I hope you had a good stream. What were you doing though? In in in, you're in your second playthrough, still in Act One. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Okay, so you won't get spoiled then. That's good. I hope. I'm not sure. <laughs> but yeah, I I would hate if anyone got spoiled uh, when they come raiding in here. Um, because this is a game you should definitely not get spoiled. Um, but I'm glad it's your second playthrough then. <laughs> wait, wait, what happened? I mean, I know what happened, but uh, the, the, the alert didn't show up for me. Thank you so much for the dollar. Thank you so much. Um, w wiser, wiser. I see, I see. Or just DK is fine as well. Mm. Is it because you're, you're, you're Danish? <laughs> Uh, you love this game too? I'm so glad. I'm so glad. What do you usually play? What do you usually play? Not Insomnia. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. Uh, the, the, I don't know what would have happened with the, the, the alert, but it just... Sometimes it lags a little bit. <laughs> um, you explored almost every corner. Honestly, same. My first playthrough lasted for 222 hours. Um, so it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I'm, I'm very thorough, but what, what, uh, what do you, um, what, what do you, um, are you playing as a Tav or are you playing as a Dark Urge? Or more importantly, who do you romance? <laughs> that's, that's an important question, you know? It is an important question. Let's see. Can she reach over here? No, she can't. Well, she can. Uh, she can disarm. You stream mainly Overwatch too, but you play other games as well, like Baldur's Gate Three to Dota to Overcooked. I see. I see. I see. You can't resist this. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I I, I feel you there. I have. <laughs> I I know I know the I know the feeling. No time to waste. Uh, yeah, I. So I have. I finished the game once. I finished the game once. Um, but I have two playthroughs in Act Three. Like this is the second playthrough that I've like I've. I haven't gotten this far in any other playthrough than the first one that I've finished. But all of those three playthroughs have only, <laughs> have only been able to romance a start. I say haven't been able to, but it's more like I haven't even tried to romance anyone else. Because it's just... It just... You know? Why, why do you keep missing?
He bought an Astarium print signed by Neil himself. Ooh, that's so cool. Just so you can look at it and remember the happy times you had with this game. Oh, I love that. I, I love that. It's hard. I, I know. I know. Yeah, I have ascended a star in this one, which was... Uh, it's been interesting, let's just say that. I much... like, I prefer his spawn version a lot more, I have to say, but I... Seeing as this is like an evil playthrough, kind of, I had to... because I'm... I'm giving in to the dark urge so i am not a good character so i figured you know might as well go all in and make all of them be uh like the the worst version of themselves the only one that i didn't succeed with that was was lazel i needed a 30 roll um so she's the only one who isn't getting her bad ending i guess I'm sorry, it's just, it's just right there. It's true, it's true. Uh, he's perfect companion for Dark Urge. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm planning on doing a... a um, an honor mode run where I'm gonna resist the Dark Urge. And I've heard that that is the best uh, romance in the game. Dark Urge with... like resist Dark Urge with spawn a starion which is what i'm gonna do then i have tried not to get spoiled though i tried really hard to not get spoiled so um i just that's what i've heard so i'm very excited to try that out <laughs> yeah it's it's difficult dude it's it's so difficult but it's there's also so many ways you can go you know Like, how can you not romance the same person a few times when there's so many different ways you can take it, you know? Even even if it's not a Starion. It's like, Shadowheart is also... she. I call her DJ, G, DJ Shart because she's a Dark Justice here in this one now. That was, that was not... that was not easy. That was also not easy. Um, because I, I love Aelin and... and Isabel, so that was that was painful, but even even if you romance her, like that is also different, I think, from what I've heard. From when she's a Dark Justicier and when she is a Salunite. So And also with Lazel too, I think. May your honor go smoothly. I hope I hope so. I hope so. But thank you. And they updated new animations. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't... Are you talking about the kiss scenes? Because that is... <laughs> That's also... That is, that is also um, a valid point. Yeah, I was... One thing that I'm a little bit disappointed in is that Spawn Astarian doesn't have any new kisses. He just has the same ones that he had from before his quest was over. Um... <laughs> but also, hold on. Um, before I I forget, I, I, I'm going to give you follow. I'm going to give you follow. Um, but also, I'm I'm so sorry. I usually say this whenever people write in. Like, if you need to, if you need to do some after stream care and just take care of yourself and chill. Obviously, feel free to do so, because um, <laughs> uh, I, I'm I'm sorry. I, I tried to remember to say it, but uh, sometimes you just need to unwind a little bit after stream. But also, thank you so much for the follow. Also, we do have anonymous follows, by the way, in case anyone want to just lurk in peace. Orion Wolfie achieved X one hundred and eleven. Thank you, Ryan. Dude, no one, no one has actually used that uh, alert before. It's, it's. I think it's so cute. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. Yeah, I've, I've, I've made a lot of clips off stream um, to make sure that I use them as um, like alerts or something. <laughs> 
Let's see, let's see. But time to install mods. I really want to. I really want to, but I want to get all the achievements first because I think it just kind of cancels out. Oh, I love this time of year. The dickheads start popping up wherever you look. Very true, Carlac. Very true. <laughs> Thank you for the 50 bits, Orion. Yeah, the. the <laughs> oh, so many good ones, though. There's one thing that I've really missed having Carlac in my party, though. I did not kill her, I promise. I did not. I would never. I could never. I love her too much. Uh, but she was very mad at me. So I never got to recruit her because she she was she was mad at me. So uh, in Act One, playing as a an evil dirge has been has been it's been rough. <laughs> You alert, gotta go get ready for bed. Glad to see you, uh, glad to be able to pop into your stream. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for the, the, the raid and, and, and the follow. I appreciate it. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful night and sleep well. Thank you so much. I, I, I love getting to know new people too. I've completely forgotten what I'm, I'm doing here now. <laughs> I get so easily distracted by when when I start talking. Uh, <laughs> like what what was my what was my what was my plan here now? I don't I don't know. I just started this fight though. This won't be enough to kill him, but I'm gonna I'm just gonna use the Oh! I, I guess it was enough to kill him. <laughs> Minsk and Boo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we're gonna try to save Minsk. Uh, because I didn't get to do that in my first one, but I don't know how this will go if Jahira is... It's not here. I don't think that we can recruit him if he, Jahira is not here. So I'm not counting on that, but I, I at least want to save him, though. What if he can- what if he knows? What if he will know that I killed her? Actually, you know, th that's not true. I did not kill Jahira. The Shadow Curse did. So it wasn't- it wasn't me who did it, but... Yeah, so he can't- he can't say anything. <laughs> It's true, though. He, he can't. Uh, it kind of sucks that I have to kill her, but... Because she... Uh, she, she She's a traitor, you know? I love how he does necrotic damage as well, though. I think I'm just gonna leave him up here. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna save Minsk for for last though because I don't want to use. Uh, well, I can't use non-lethal attacks. Guidance. You don't need to focus on guidance. I think I'm gonna go with a necrotic though because I d well I I don't think that it matters here.
Hmm. Yeah. Sorry, doggo. If only you were on my side. You know? Like the goodest boy here. He keeps missing all the time. <laughs> you finally started to use Spirit Guardians and, like, better late than ever in this case, but damn, you, if you wish you could have used it in Act 2. Dude, it is such an OP skill in Act 2. In Act 2, it is, it is something else, for sure. What the fuck? I thought she, uh... She just got so much, like, AC. Oh yeah, she's slowed. That's so annoying. No, not help. Um, yeah, I'm gonna dash because she's more useful down there. Mm, yeah, use cleave. That's good here. Too bad that she, uh... She can't use anything else, though. But yeah, Spirit Guardians is... is That was, like, the main reason why I wanted to have Shadowheart with me in my party for the, the other two playthroughs. And why I was like, I need to... I need to learn how to be without her. <laughs> because it's just too good. So in this playthrough, I, I made Gale into uh, a cleric instead, just so I wouldn't use Shadowheart so much. Um, everything misses. But now he's kidnapped, so you know, I can't really do anything. <laughs> I would give in. Uh, you know? I don't know how helpful that would be, but we can, we can, uh... It will be enough to kill her, I think. No. It was not. Oh yeah, I have the stupid, uh... Slowed thing, which gives me even less... Action points. Or fewer, I mean. Let's see.
Is there no way to get a little bit closer? Just, just a little bit. Fine. I just need to make sure that I don't kill him. That's, that's all. You play Animal Well after stream? Uh, after stream, I have not. Uh, I've been meaning to though, but I, I haven't. Um. Yeah, fly up here. Don't kill him now. Wait, you removed the... <laughs> uh... Because I don't... I, well, I mean, we... Hmm. I guess I should turn on non-lethal attacks. You have to do a thing, do it. Do do the thing. Uh let's see, let's see. Mm. Twenty-five, fifty. Wait, fifty? Okay. <laughs> How can you do? How can you get a critical miss? She's lying down. That's that's insane. That's actually impressive. Imagine if Scratch killed Mince. Yeah, Scratch has missed everything today. So. <laughs> Yeah, I just, I just, uh, I just wonder how this is gonna go when Jahira isn't here. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, non-lethal damage, good. That should be enough. So he's knocked out. That's good. Let's see. Uh, we saw the Stone Lord meeting with Zentrim. The Cold Arp paying the Zentrim for some service at the Guild Hall. We should find out what the Stone Lord is dealt with. We should tell Nine Fingers. I mean, he has been dealt with, so. <laughs> They jump pretty far. Hmm. Okay. Where do I go from here? Well, I mean, that's a good question. But we do need to heal a little bit. I 
kind of just want to get rid of uh, fake Jahira. Oh yeah, this one has concentration on us. I, I did not think about that at all. That's not good. I should have focused more on this one then. But that is something the Starion can do. Nice. Uh, yeah, I don't... Yeah, I was like, I don't think he can reach. Uh, if you have a plus three bonus from Scarlet Remittance, consume it to empower yourself in combat. Hmm. Yeah, he needs to move because he can't he can't get anywhere from, from where he is. I guess I shouldn't have moved up here before I could do anything. <laughs> We're not, we're not the brightest here today, okay? I guess now I don't need the passives. Uh, or, um... Hmm. I was hoping that was enough to kill him, but... Uh, Shadowheart, you can, uh... Five? Yeah, let's use four. It didn't really do much, but... It's fine. Wow. Actually, she could have killed her if she just pushed her off the edge or something. Most likely. <laughs> Let us see. Welcome back, Orion. Let's see. <laughs> Wait, I don't I don't remember that quote at all. <laughs> I do not remember that quote at all. I mean I know she's at a disadvantage, but it's it's fine. Actually, you know what? Just, just... She can't do a whole lot from here. It's fine. I mean, she can do enough, but it's, uh... This is this is fine. Still breathing, despite everything. What the fuck? What was that? Yeah, 
I'm just gonna use uh, magic missile because the you know I can't really do much from here. Most of the stuff that I have is like AOE stuff. And there are too many of my allies here, so. You kind of want to draw, but you don't know what, what, even though you have so many ideas, that is, that is a relatable struggle. <laughs> I feel you there. And you're not really drawn in, you don't like, like last year and then some. Yeah, I, it's something that really comes and goes for me too. one more and that's about it let's move over here mm, one day a couple of weeks ago you did two doodles mm. Yeah, you kind of need to be in the right mood for it, but it also sometimes, sometimes it helps to like force yourself to do it as well. But I feel like that happens very rarely though. Maybe it depends on the person. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think she can shoot from here. <laughs> I don't think so. You wish you could doodle without having having to know wait what do you mean you can't even force yourself because that doesn't work yeah i it doesn't it doesn't really work for me either i guess it depends on the activity um You can you can dash. She still can't do anything from here. <laughs> uh. You can't just do anything if you don't know like the end results thing. Like you have so many ideas, but if you don't see it, it's like you can't do do it, and even then, it's hard. I've never really thought about that, but I, I actually... I actually relate to that. Um, when it comes to drawing, at least. Cost. It's like... When you... Know what the... What you're trying to do. Like, what you want. Like, what you envision yourself drawing. And the results. Can't slow down. But drawing without having an end goal, as you say, you know, that, that. That's how it is for me, too. And the actual starting is a big issue for you as well, and then if there's like a step in the middle, you can't do or don't know how. It halts everything else as well. Hmm. Yeah. Yes, here. I get it. I get it. God damn it. Do I really have to use dash again? Sure. <laughs> Imagine if this actually worked. Like, there, there's so many disadvantages here. Um... But he did it. Against the darkness swarming, his senses a single light glows. Rage flaring brighter every moment. Cute. 
I didn't kill her. Get rid of him. This wretch has stood against your father before. You tremble to end him. Every part of your rancorous body yearns for it. Shit, we're having an ad, so I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna do anything. I was like, oh no, I hope the ad doesn't happen during the, 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 the cutscene. But now that it actually stopped and I have dialogue options and stuff, I'm not gonna do anything because I don't wanna do anything while there's an ad running. I don't want pe people to have to Jesus Christ. I want I don't want people to have to be subbed to not miss out on anything. That was a coaster, by the way. The the bottle that I use was all Yeah. <laughs> but what why does he say killed her? I mean I mean I killed her, like the one that was there on the ground here but if he means the real one I didn't kill her <sighs> you think that is the fake to hear because you got that as well mm. yeah I have I have I have urges apparently <laughs> and you know the rule uh. Should I allow myself to resist the urge? Yeah, that rule. Yeah. Because every time there's a dark urge option, I have to go with the... Because I, I I made a mistake in my first playthrough, okay? Like I ended up like, I had I had non-lethal attacks on, so I wasn't supposed to kill him, but then I I made the stupid mistake of landing the 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 last hit on him with a bow and an arrow, which doesn't count as non-lethal attacks. It has to be a melee weapon, which I didn't really think about the t t at the time. So I thought that that counted. I thought it was just like magical attacks that wouldn't count, but... And I had the rule that I also didn't reload. Even though I really wanted to because it was an honest mistake too, but I was like, no, I have to live with this. So now I'm just like, should I... Should I defy the urge? Just to see, but even, even though I don't know how he will react to me killing Jahira either. Even though it wasn't me, it was it was the shadow curse. It wasn't me. I never actually fought her. Uh, if you want to know what happens, can you see and then reload for the urge thing then? I can, I can. Yeah, because I don't think that you can recruit him if Chihira isn't in your party. I don't know for sure though, but I, I don't think so. So I'm, I'm really curious to see how this will go because in other playthroughs I will make sure that I have Jahira, so I won't find out anyway. <laughs> Just have to be blood True, true. Should we try? Should we try? We can try. Okay, I'm gonna save. Uh... Yeah, because this I have to. I have to give in to the dark urge here. That's the rule. That is the rule. Don't be foolish. He is too unpredictable. He will only be a hindrance to us. You do not see what I do. His thoughts, his mind, pure chaos. As if in response, Minsk's rage burns colder, burrows deeper, searching for something within you to break itself upon, and finding only Jahira's false face dead here at your feet. 
and no true Jahira to name you friend. Jahira, you killed her. We can't save everyone. The least we can do is put him out of his misery before we move on. Yep. I had a feeling that if I hadn't Jahiri here as proof, uh, then... Damn, how much... How far can he move? But he only has one, one health though, so it's like... It won't take much, but... But that is kind of sad, yeah. Don't waste a step. But the urges. You know, I guess you're right. We we are uh, we we are supposed to do that. <laughs> I guess you're right. Uh, yeah, I, that is... that is sad, though. Yeah, he thinks that I killed the real one. But I... I get, like, I am responsible for the real one dying, too, but I didn't actually kill her. I feel... it's just very important for me to, to, to point that out. I did not. It wasn't me. One of the few things that I didn't actually do. This wretch has stood against your father before. You tremble to end him. Every part of your rancorous body yearns for it. You wonder what happens to Boo then? I haven't even met Boo. He didn't. Even, he didn't show up either when when I I killed him in my first playthrough on accident. He doesn't show up. What do you- what do you mean? Orion, I literally- I literally told you. I told you like 10 minutes ago. I said that I had non-lethal attacks on, but I ended up killing him on accident because I used a bow and arrow. I said this like 10 minutes ago, and you responded to it. What do you mean? I didn't do anything to him. He never showed up. I've never seen him. Okay. I guess it will be the same as before. Wait, what do you mean I, you thought I meant boo? Which part? Yeah, I just killed Minsk. Uh... That's so sad, though. Like, he even has a camp supply pack and an alchemy pouch. You thought he even just killed Boo? Wait. No, but I never killed Boo. That's the thing, I never seen him. He never shows up at all, so I haven't killed him at all. He just wasn't here. Fantastical relaxation garb. <laughs> uh, hold on. Um. Well, I guess we can pick it up. I mean, that's what you thought meant, but now you know it didn't mean that. 
Yeah, because now I was confused. <laughs> um, actually, no, I'm, I'm going to drop those. And that. That actually looks kind of nice, though. <laughs> um, that, too. Wait, isn't this... This looks very similar to, to Will's uh, outfit. Like, camp uh, outfit, I mean. Let me see. Because I've seen it on a Starion, so I'm gonna see if it's similar. I actually like this better than Well's outfit, if I'm being honest, but it it does look similar, though. Uh, I need to send a bunch of stuff over to, uh, like, Shadow Hearts. We'll figure that out later. Did I use? Uh, I did not. Wait, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't realize he was so close. <laughs> no, wait. <gasps> did you see that? It said sad squeaking. What do you mean? <gasps> Boo is here. That that is, that is Boo. What do you? I I never I never. S I never saw him appear in my first playthrough. No. That is so sad. He's right there. But he's so big. I thought he was tiny. Dude. Don't, 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 don't do this to me, <laughs> Can I talk with, I can't. No. He's like invisible, almost. I'll feel that one later. It's so sad. Uh... Is there a way to, like, zoom in here? He's just sitting there. Sad squeaking. Oh, no. <sighs> I guess we're gonna go and tell Nine Fingers about what happened. Hey Swag, how you doing? It's uh, we 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 just did something sad. I have a lot on my mind, and well, in it. Uh, that was that was sad, but I tried though. I tried to I tried to 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 save him. You're great, you just finished a five hour of D D. Oh really? Nice. On your way home? That sounds like yeah, like a good Saturday. <laughs> Poor scratch. Sometimes I wish you could just click on the map so that you would go...
where you, well. Wait, where is the guild hall? I'm so confused. Well, it's not this way. I guess I have to fast travel out of here to the Basilisk Gate, then it would be easier. Maybe. I don't know, the sewers are kind of confusing to me. But this is a, 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 a good way to get there. <laughs> we fought a fire demon. Pirates were keeping in it. Pirates were keeping in a chest as a trap was intense. <laughs> did, did you win? Or did you win? Did someone get left behind? No. What do you mean? You did win, you got down once. Good job. Good job. Did you get any fun loot after it? There is a blue f dot on the map in this. Oh, it's a ghoul. <laughs> I, guess, I guess one was left behind. It's fine. It's fine. They're kind of slow. I dropped some loot on the floor here. Oh yeah, they started a they they started a fight here, I guess. Maybe. Uh, we return to find the guild hall at war. The Zentrim face off against the guild, hoping to topple Nine Fingers Keen. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Mm, the fire demon was teleporting all over the place and doing AoE fire moves was rough. Mm. You were tasked to steal something from these pirates while you were there and you got it after, but the building was set on fire due to the fire demon. Oh no. <laughs> So you're just left empty-handed? I like how some of them are just chilling here, and then others are cowering in, in fear. Well, well. The fabled haunt of Nine Fingers King. Any guild members? Never visited before. I thought you got around. I always steer clear. If guild members started disappearing, people would start asking questions. And Casador hated questions. Understandable. When the answer is invariably, the silver-haired one eat them. See, this is- this was not bad at all, though. But I- I- the- Part of the reason why I'm not the biggest fan of Shadowheart is also the way that she just... She's so mean to the other companions when they have dialogues like that. When you're walking around, she has so many mean things to say. And it, it really bothers me. No time. The Zentrim have turned the rotward bastards. So, if you're part of it... Take your shot. Anything else can wait till the Zent are buried. Just casual Friday business day. <laughs> it got it, but just barely. One of you ran into the burning building it was funny. Mm. She hasn't been that mean while you're in your party. I think she has. It, well, it's probably because you haven't had a star in your party. Because it's mostly him that she's mean to. Um. I'm not sure. Is she mean to Gale too? I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. But she's definitely very mean to him. Um. So I guess it depends on the on the 
people you ha have with you. But yeah, it was one interaction. Like, when you were about to enter Kazador's palace, she basically... In, in a very su well not subtle but it's like she's she's basically telling him to kill himself um so you know mm, I'm with you good because I've already got more enemies than I do fingers come on then Woman of her word? Wait. He was inspired by that? Damn, she did a lot of damage there. Uh, that one makes sense. She also did have very- yeah, I mean... That's like- th that was like the worst first impression too, because she's- she comes off as- very strongly as a... Racist. Really. Um, which is also a good reason why I don't really understand why people like her so early on. Because it takes a long time for her to be nice. And even then it's like, uh, it depends on who you have with you. Because even then it's not always uh, how it is. <laughs> Well, I mean, she's not telling him to do- but she's like... She's like fantasizing about someone killing him. Over here. Basically. Well, not f How- what- how is the- I, I posted a clip about it. Because it was like- it was kind of- Wait, what is Scratch doing down there? How the fuck did you end up down there? What? Excuse me? I'm- I'm so... confused. But yeah, she- uh, he's basically just being, uh, like, joking around, being sarcastic. And then she gets all serious and, like... About... Someone basically executing him. <laughs> so, uh, I, I like. The response was a little bit too drastic to uh, a, an innocent joke. That sounds a bit odd. No, she is just very mean uh, to Astarian. Like, their dynamic is, is not, not my favorite at all. <laughs> like, personality-wise, they... You would think that they would get along really well. But... The way that she, she talks to him is just awful. <laughs> But then he he's also just used to uh he's used to that anyway so he he takes it very lightly anyway But I don't <laughs> because I I know the reason why Wait, so do that. Shoot this one. Let me strike true. Oh, I thought it was underneath that. Okay, never mind. That was stupid. Uh heading there. I should have I should have panned the camera around a little bit more. Uh, you had like head cannons, lore stuff in your playthrough. How they sometimes gossip around camp sometimes, and with Scratch too. 
Yeah, it's like that. That's what I mean. It's like they. Yeah, I don't. I, also, how the fuck did Scratch end up down here? I don't get it. <laughs> how? Um. Like you would think that the the two of them that they would have a better dynamic, but she is just. I don't know. It's weird. Because personality-wise, they they seemed that they like they would get along really well. But then they just don't. I do think it's because... Maybe it's because she's a cleric. And clerics usually... No, that's paladins, though. Yeah, paladins usually... Really hate un undeads, like so, so because he's a vampire, but she's a cleric. So I don't know if they, it's still the same. Wait, also I need to I need to turn off the passives. Best be on my way. Hmm. Aren't there, uh, barrels here? Yes, there are. Um... What if I just... What if I just do that? I mean, there are people on, on my side here too, but, like, I don't- I don't know them. <laughs> I- I don't know them. It's wild how different experience of a character can be so different. I mean... Uh, uh, I mean, the way she is from the beginning is the same for everyone, though. I am fury. I am death. My path be true. But then, I have also heard that everyone in D&D &D is basically racist, so I guess it's not really unusual. Which doesn't make it better, but at least it's not just her. Um... And it's, it's interesting though, because most people haven't even had anything to do with Gith Yankees or Giths in general. So I wonder why she is so well, the way she is towards uh Lazelle. Because like you also don't have a lot of memories, so why do you Why are you so hostile towards a specific um race of people you know what I mean for you she wasn't that only very short while I feel like this game is too much fantasy racism in general yeah Ryder, how you doing? Yeah, I was I was wondering when someone would um Oh uh uh <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> Hello again. I was wondering when someone would redeem third. It took a while. I mean to be fair, we have had people chatting before. It's just people tend to forget about um about the other numbers. But how 
are you doing though? But yeah, that's also why I find it kind of weird how so many seem to dislike Gale. Because the only thing that he ever did uh, that made me kind of not like him in, in a way, it was, I, I got over it obviously, but it, it was just the one thing that he says when you try to make the lantern instead of him in Moonrise Towers, which is... He, he responds in a, in a, in a, not the best way, but that's literally the only thing. I don't understand the other reasons why people would, uh, have an issue with it, with him. Can you feel death's cold grip? Time to move. Let's do it. Only 19? That's unlike you. Hmm. Nah. Um, good, your stream crashed, you let it go and came to hang here, it was going to raid in, but it didn't let you next time. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Who are you playing, though? I hate it when that happens, though. You feel like you have things to say about that, but you don't know how to word it. Wait, which, which part? About Gale? Well, I, I know that it's, um... I do know that it has something to do with, um... How people tend to treat... Autistic people. So I do, I do know... That that is a... A common, uh, Consensus that that is the reason why people tend to dislike him, because... People tend to dislike uh, autistic people in general, so... Um, but it still doesn't make sense to me, though. Because, because he's... He's overall very likable anyway. I mean, he, he could be... Passing as someone who isn't autistic, but it's like... But we, we can tell, but you know, it's like... I don't know. I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say, but it's weird. It is weird. You were doing language streaming, learning Finnish today. Oh, wait, Ryan here is Finnish. <laughs> That's cool. It's so annoying when the tech fails us, but that's all good. You'll come in vain. <laughs> hey, I appreciate the thought. I appreciate it. But yes, you're learning Finnish? That is so cool. Oh yeah, she doesn't have... Um... Wait. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh damn, I didn't even see the these people here. Gail is totally autistic coded, isn't he? He's such a sweetheart. It's it's true. It's true. I, I feel like that's that's the conclusion that everyone has come to. Like, you know, they haven't said anything about it, but it's like he he is the He is the uh 
the art artistic one in the group. But to be fair, I've said the same thing about Lazel because she also gives me that same vibe. And I have not heard anyone mention it, and I find it so weird because she's giving me that vibe so much. Um... But maybe it's just because that's how gifts in general are. I don't know. What <laughs> uh, They're like two very different parts of the spectrum. Mm. Yeah, it's just the way that she she like takes everything very literal and uh, and jokes and stuff just. She doesn't take it as a joke, even though it is a joke. Um... But then also, people don't understand when she's joking. So they think that she is being serious and then she's joking. <laughs> so that's... yeah. And magic is his special interest, you would say. Oh yes, also Lazel, you saw a video do doing like how it would be... Like analysis thing? Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> the bluntness, literalness, the strong sense of justice for Lazel and the information diving in curiosity for Gale. Mm. Exactly. And I find it so weird because I have not heard anyone talking about Lazel being, being that too. And... I was like, if anything, I would almost say that she is even more, and then Gail is kind of has more um, ADHD traits in a way. I don't know, but they—they're both giving neurodivergent vibes. That's for sure. You don't know this word though, is it a town? Oh, it's just a, a Norwegian or um, Swedish way of saying it. <laughs> it's time for you to log off and unwind before bed. Have a lovely stream, talk to you soon. Thank you so much for being here, Sarah. I hope you sleep well. And I uh, hope you also have a good rest of your weekend. You want to cry actually, I've been like, wait, what do you mean? Carl, that gives you ADHD rep for you. Really? I guess, you know, I guess in a way, I can see that too. Tormento. But it's not that obvious. Uh... You're crying again? <laughs> Because saying things like this feels like you would not be allowed to say or talk about, it and it's. You mean as simply as how she dances if you give her a second of silence? Mm. Yeah, she definitely has the the golden retriever energy for sure. But also remember when she went ham on the tear. Oh yeah, that's true. It's been such a long time since that happened. Because it didn't happen in this playthrough. <laughs> so I barely remember that happening. Um, you should not project your things on fictional characters. Hey, of course you can. It, well, I mean, it's like, obviously, you, they're supposed to be relatable, you know? Wait, really? Why did she do zero damage? Oh, I 
I see. I see. Well, that's annoying. I was... Dude, this one has a lot of decks. Hmm. That's what they're built for? To f yeah, I agree. I agree. You have such a hard time on that that you shouldn't, and it's like for you especially not allowed. Says who? Jail. And because you don't really have spaces to talk about autism and ADHD and stuff, of course you do. I mean, you do here, at least, but... That... That this is a space where you can talk aloud about it. That community is so important to... Yeah, it's true. It is true. Damn, holy crap. She hits hard. I don't know what it is, but I also have a soft spot for Nine Fingers. I don't know what it is. I just- there, there's just something. There's just something about her that I really like. And that's why this space and being in here and like it's so important to you because you feel so much- Well, relatable and you can actually talk things- talk about things even though you still prevent yourself to talk about them. Even in here because you feel- you do. No, no, you don't. I, I know the, the the feeling is still there, but you 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 never do anything wrong, right? At least not here. She's so cool and she's funny and clever. You do too. Mm. Yeah, I, I really like her. I really do. You like how she dealt with Jahira? I forgot what happened. <laughs> because, like, Jahira is... Uh, this is a... Um, a little bit of a different playthrough. So, she is... N I didn't kill her, but she's not alive. The The Shadow Curse killed her. But I don't remember what happened. I do remember that I took her with me when I went to go and see Nine Fingers the first time. But I don't know if I had Jahir with me when I did this fight. I don't actually remember that. You do have your partner, but you don't really have other places, even online or offline. Because it's hard. Mm. It is. It is very difficult. But at least it's getting easier to to find safe spaces online. At least, even though it's also easier to find places that you don't feel s safe. Um, honestly, I've noticed that with this game in particular. When I go into certain streams, uh, it's like, yeah, uh, I, yeah, I can't be here <laughs> because of the way that people um, feel about certain characters that I love and stuff, and especially also when they talk about Gale too. It's like, mm, you know, I think maybe, maybe this isn't the right place for me. And Gale is not my my go-to person here either, but it's just I don't know. I, I feel very protective of a lot of the characters. Not every single one, but that's also why I get so upset uh, upset of over Shadowheart because she's so mean to a Starion. <laughs> Hmm. 
with Jahira, basically there was beef, but she was so practical. I don't like I don't like what happened, but you can do your business here. And when then when Jahira and Minsk approach her, and she's like, "Hmm, yeah, I never got Minsk in my other playthrough. I tried to. We we met him earlier, but seeing as Jahira wasn't alive, he thought that we had killed her, so uh, I had to kill him. So I have actually never had Minsk because." accidentally killed him in my first playthrough too, even though I had non-lethal attacks on. But I made the mistake of... killing him by, by using bow and arrow. I deliberately tried to not use magic, but I accidentally used a bow and arrow instead. Um, that's also why you had such a hard time, because you were... You're not here for, like... A long time and you didn't have like you couldn't even chat about random things mm. but you can but I, I also I also understand that it's probably I don't know it takes a lot of energy to Shadowheart, and so what was that? Wait, what do you mean? No, I mean, Shadowheart is so mean to Astarian. And I don't like it. Minsk is your favorite, he and Halson. <laughs> I, I, what I, what little uh, I've seen of, of Minsk, I really do like, but I just haven't been able to have him in my party, which is so sad because I want like I was very close to reloading when I realized that he he was well that I killed him, but I promised myself that I wouldn't reload in my first playthrough unless. Well, unless it was. Forestarian or animals. I didn't know about Boo at the time, so I didn't. I could have. I could have used that as a loophole, but I didn't know at the time. If I had known, I would have reloaded. <laughs> you wish you could learn more, like do stuff and things, because you wish you could even casually just talk about stuff. You don't really do things casually. Yeah. Especially when there's things you care about. And if you don't care about it, then it just feels like small talk and that's also awful. So I, I get it. You were overwhelmed today because you were watching something and it, it is a lot, but also not enough at the same time. Wait, is it because you guys are rewatching The Owl House? Said Shadowheart was something, missed the word. Oh yeah, I, I just said that she's mean to him. <laughs> Whenever you do a run, when you can get him again, you'll see he's wonderful and his dialogue options are very funny. I want to. Um, I have another playthrough in Act 3 off stream. And I haven't, like, I barely started Act 3. So, I probably, I'll probably do it then. But yeah, I, I have seen some clips though. And it is adorable. <laughs> you want to get him earlier on your next run? But you were too scared of the sewers you did. Oh, I see. I see. I was the opposite. I did. I did most of the sewers from the like in the beginning because I just I wanted to to get the not so fun stuff over with. <laughs> and you know, sewers and games are not fun ever. So, but thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. You try to get in the moment you're in Act 3, if possible. Small talk is awful. It's only nice with people that is... Yeah, I I can't do small talk. <laughs> it's like, even even when even when I, I go into people's chats and they like... I don't know, is this just me? I just feel... It's very difficult to say hi. I just want to jump into the conversation. Just doing all the usual pleasantries like hi and how you doing and all that stuff i just i just want to skip it and just go straight into conversations with people 
<laughs> Even though I know it's like, it's just normal human decency, I guess, or politeness to just say hi, but it's just, I have such a difficult time with it sometimes. So I just, I just start talking about whatever right away. I don't see the point in saying hi. I, I don't, I, I just don't see the point. <laughs> it's like, yeah. You're watching Arcane again? There was a new teaser for season two. It comes out. I saw, I saw. I still haven't watched it because I figured, you know, I'm probably gonna wait until the the next season comes. So I've been I've been saving the show until I can watch the second season as well. You're having a lot of trouble with this in dating apps. You just re-download it and you're. Uh, presenting as non-binary for the first time on a dating app and it's really hard. Mm. That is interesting. I haven't really thought about that before because they also usually have you decide whether you are, you know, one or the other. But yeah, Orion is also, uh, go also go by, by they, them. Um, because same, you want to hop in in the middle of the action scene. <laughs> it's like, what's the point? It's like, why do we have to say hi again? We've said that so many times already. And it's also like, I also feel bad if I go into someone's chat and someone says hi to me and I just don't remember to say hi to everyone back. It's like, I don't want people to think that I'm ignoring them either, you know? Uh, I don't know. Why are these things so difficult? You wish you could uh, uh, like ask the important questions first. You would not want to be friends with someone who would be a bigot, for example, and those are not normal, like small talk to uh, topics. Mm. Yeah, I also tend to like to observe people before I interact with them, <laughs> which is kind of difficult IRL. I guess it depends on the situation. Um, Yeah, I usually, I usually also like to just sit and, and, and observe people to see if they're worth uh, interacting with. <laughs> it just, it sounds so awful when I say it like that, but I, I hope it doesn't come off that way. Um, I mean, it probably does, but... You never had the option before? I'm like, yeah, hi, anyway. <laughs> it's so awful. You really like the channel point redeems that give an audible hello like like mine oh i never really thought about that i just i just wanted an excuse to use it <laughs> i was like hmm. but yeah you know what now that i think about it, that's that's a that's a that's a good point it feels so nice to relate hmm how are you? I don't like small talk. Okay, how are you? And is God dead from Community Season 1? Oh, wait. It's funny because I actually only watched Season 1 of Community. But I don't remember that. <laughs> also, like, how are you? Like, are you actually, actually want to know or just looking for small talk? Yeah, I we've had this conversation before. Usually, I like I feel like... I have to say that when I stream, um, but at the same time, I also want people to tell me, but it's like, it's kind of like an automated s thing that I say, because it's like, it's kind of what I have to do in a way, but at the same time, I also want people to answer it honestly when I ask if they feel comfortable doing that. I don't, I don't want like the, just the basic responses that um you know people just saying oh i'm fine how about you if if they're not fine you know what i mean i want people to be honest about it too the audible hello is a good way to announce your presence and then you can safely just hop in the middle of the action mm. you know that is a good point i never really thought about it but that is a good point
now you know that you would just ask do you want small talk or actually know how you are but uh, how i am but even then you never know how you are that is too big of a question yeah if i'm not feeling particularly like really super happy or really down that day i just like feel neutral i guess and then i'm like ah, i guess being neutral is fine in a way you know <laughs> so it's like it's only yeah i don't know In New York, how are you? It's just a greeting. One person says, how are you? And the person responds, how are you? And that's the entire conversation. You continue your way, never answer. That is so annoying. <laughs> that is so annoying, though. <laughs> you don't want to say, oh, I have a horrible day and was overwhelmed if the other person is just looking for small talk, but why ask then? I agree. I agree. But as I said, because we, we have talked about this before, Ryan that when I ask, I actually want to know, like, even if you're not having a good day, I don't want you to lie and say that you're not having, uh, like, that you're you're doing okay or whatever. I want you to be honest when, when I ask. But I also want people to be comfortable responding, like, you don't say anything you're not comfortable with. Um, but I don't ask out of pleasantries, like, obviously I do, but I also want the actual answer to it, too. <laughs> it's not just something that I, I say that doesn't mean anything. Okay, let's talk to Nine Fingers. Suppose I should have seen that coming. Zentarim aren't known for their loyalty, but I thought the bastards would keep to their contract at least. I'm too nice for my own good, I suppose. But I was in a pit, and you helped pull me out. For that, I'm grateful. You'll have what guild blades I can give when the time to take the absolute comes. So, just tell me what you need to get us there. Hmm. I need. Oh, I mean, I think we've gotten all the information that we can from her. Knowing what I know usually comes at a cost. Mm. But let's say we'll put it on your tab. Didn't you just say that I could ask? Yeah. Aid the Underduke. Nine Fingers is grateful that we helped her retain control of the guild. She's not one to give away what's hers. We can count on her and her ladies' court in the final battle. That's so funny. Astarn is grateful for us helping him become Vampire Ascendant. We can count on his dark magic and his... But he's our companion. Why Why is he considered an ally in this in this scenario here? I, that's... I know it's because you can have the Gur people. Uh, and we, we kind of had to choose between him and the Gur people. But I just find this kind of weird when he's already in our party, you know? Uh, the strange creature is thankful that we helped it enter the city. No doubt we'll have a powerful ally when we need it the most. Freeing ourselves the bears. Okay. So we only have... Not counting a star, and we only have two allies. <laughs> it's it's not looking great. It's, it's not looking great. Uh, should we go to... Where should we go? Hmm. I don't know, we'll see. All this broadsheet coverage for one dead lord. You've seen people break down how and why the discussion are different, like with from small talk to the deep stuff versus 
like the opposite and also the bottom up and top to bottom ways of thinking it's easier when it's known if what the person means when they say stuff mm. Yeah, I don't think I usually say things just to say them, really. Unless it, it, it depends on who I'm talking to. If I know that they're the type of people that don't actually listen or they don't want to have a proper conversation, uh, I guess that's a little bit different. Like, my mom is one of those people. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like it's just like talking to a wall. So I'm like, yeah, I, I I'm just not putting too much energy into the conversations, if I'm being honest. Um You had to refresh, it was lagging too much for you. Mm. There's one thing that I have been wondering about that we haven't done. I should have gone to the Grey Harbor docks instead. That would have been closer. Wait, wait, wait. Also, guys, do you think we should kill Lorokin after all, even though we didn't end up in a fight with him? Because I kind of want to... I kind of want to help out Roland. Because he doesn't seem like he's having a good time. Seems like a good moment to talk. What? We hate that dude. Mm, yeah, I did. I did. Um, Shadowheart is a Shadowheart is DJ Short. Um, so <laughs> we we did end up doing that. That's why I also didn't have to fight Lorowakin because he just didn't have. I don't know, he just seemed sad and upset about it and annoyed, but he didn't seem like he was angry and wanted to fight me. So I was like, oh, well, whatever. And then, but then I was like, mm. I also feel bad for Roland because he didn't survive in my first playthrough because for some reason, I forgot about the whole quest about going out into the um, um, Shadow Curse lands to just find him when he left the the inn and it showed that the the quest had um ended once i went to get aelin and i was like oh damn no shit i forgot that he was out there like, i literally forgot about the quest as soon as i got it i think um so he didn't survive in my first playthrough and now that I, he is here i kind of want to see what happens here you know and I feel like I can't see this through unless I end up killing the Rowakin. Because now it just seems like it's stagnated somehow, you know? Also, we're getting an ad, so I'm just- I'm not gonna do anything during the ad because I don't want people to feel like they need to be subbed or anything, but... Just letting you know. But my crew is so badass and bloody. <laughs> it's true. Uh, I hate that I couldn't dye the, the outfit in the same color as I usually use. It just didn't look as good. Look at her hair, DJ Shark. Yeah, yeah. I do, I do prefer this hair on her, though. I just wish that it didn't have to happen like this. But, like, if we just separating the events that needs to occur... This is the, the superior hair for her, in my opinion. I just wish she could have it without having to do bad things. <laughs> uh, you think going to the Shadowfall is the cutoff point? It, it, it is, it is. Um, but I didn't know that because I didn't, I didn't look anything up. And I also didn't know about the quest either. Like, I, I... There were so many quests happening all at once that I didn't, I didn't think about it. Be quick about it. 
It's funny because now I can't see I can't see Roland without seeing George. Um <laughs> I think it's because he's such a like small character overall. And then ending up seeing the voice actor more often than you see the character means that it's kind of difficult to separate the two in a way. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I don't... do I have... no, I don't have any wares. Yeah, I have some stuff I'm gonna sell, though. I do have some stuff. Mm. Why do I have Gale's clothes on me? No, but he was kidnapped. No, actually it was because um, uh, Shadowheart used his outfit, I think? No. No, I think it was just because he got kidnapped, so he doesn't have his uh, outfit anymore. Right? I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> Wait. Will be done. Oh yeah, she has the Titan string. Wait. Dazzling ray. Unleash a beam of brilliant light that blinds all creatures in its path. I've never used this before. I was like, wait, is that the 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 sunbeam or whatever it's called. Sunbeam, that's what it's called. The the icon looks the same though. Or almost the same. No, it's the same. <clears throat> but you don't think you got Halson's clothes? I did. When it happened in my first uh, playthrough, I got I got his clothes. I mean, I might need it. I don't know. Oh, I have one already. Okay. Oh, I forgot to, to read these. I should probably do that. I mean, not necessarily to read them, but also, but just to... See if something happens. not I guess not uh, there is this one NPC in Act 3 that you feel like you didn't like how the interactions was handled at all because almost all the di all dialogue options were like mean and you didn't want to be mean at all wait which NPC you're talking about I feel bad about going here without Gale, but it felt wrong somehow. <laughs> but I also didn't want to put off this quest until after I had fought Orin, you know? The Night Song is an immortal being, the child of a deity. Um, you don't know if you just misunderstood the character but you felt very uncomfortable you don't remember the name but you think it was in oh oh no they weren't all mean i know exactly who you're talking about you can you can also choose to not be mean to him um some of them were in neutral as well and some were just being helpful too 
I know I know who you mean. And he's the most annoying character in the in the the game. <laughs> but you don't have to be mean to him. You just felt most of them were so mean? Yeah. But that's the, the, the point. Uh, because apparently he's a very um You don't understand how they're so annoying. Uh, because he's he's literally just going through all the different uh, classes trying to be like one of them or like trying to see which one he fits as but then it's like he's too much of a coward and, and to, to actually be any of those things but he just somehow wants to try to become one of those things anyway i don't know so it's like you can you can be helpful about it and tell him that maybe this isn't the right fit for you then or something like that you know without being mean why is that a bad thing well, it just lacks a little bit of um, self-awareness, I guess. Mm, all you saw was like a person who wanted to be an adventurer or something. Yeah, someone who who was too scared to be an adventurer. Like everything he said was like. He wanted to be it, but he didn't have what it took to be any of the things that he said. Your terrible tidings have cost me everything! My grand design! Dash the ruins! This always happens to me! Okay. So we just have to, um... Well... Keep a blade close. I guess I could separate them a little bit. So that my character can go up here. Right uh because there's no point in my character to be nearby. I have to keep going. I'll just be too squishy for that. But yeah, the thing about that NPC is that you you don't have to be mean. Most of the options are mean, but there are also options that aren't mean. So you don't have to be. I have such a headache. Keep your distance, darling. That's kind of strange, though, because I I felt like some like there were a few like very neutral ones, not mean or particularly nice. They were just factual, I guess, um, or yeah. But it's also like the the reason why he's annoying is because he's very whiny when he talks. And he doesn't seem to understand. Well. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Let's do it. Ah! 
picked to fight. The consequences are hardly surprising. I mean... Oh, damn. Look at all, all the damage I did. <laughs> yeah, that was one attack, by the way. and that was a 80 th that was 96 by the way an offhand attack 96 on an offhand attack yeah and people say that starin is is not good in combat i don't know what people are doing i'm just i'm just saying i don't know what people are doing um <laughs> hmm. Well, I guess you can attack here then. Or not. But it's not over though. <laughs> I just figured I should probably save. Rude. That is also very rude. Um... Uh... I wonder if she can do this from here. To yeah, she can. Okay, good. Nice. Wait, does this one have a... It does have a weapon. Okay, good. Oh, it's immune to it. Okay, I didn't know that. Don't talk about your <laughs> Oh, damn. Poor Scratch. He's just gonna stand here. Blood comes easy these days. Let's see. I mean, uh, no. Should I? Not yet. Cold pause. Yeah. Because they're all so spread out, so I can't use any AoE attacks. Um... Let's see. Well, if it works like Pokemons, I can I can use uh, 
Doesn't electricity work while here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Slayer? Yeah. Hmm. Well, this one will help uh, target two of them at least. Crank. Uh, okay, Earth. Maybe we should use the, the fireball then. Wait. Oh, the ladder's on this side. No, I'll just stand here. A couple of days ago... Wait. Transmuted to steel. You bought a two-box can tin thing that you had a couple of booster packs inside as well? Oh. Dude. <laughs> that was an opportunity attack. Just saying. <laughs> an opportunity attack that did... Um... Wait, hold on. Okay, let me count. 35? 89? 99? 100 110 damage did he do to this one um, as an opportunity attack, by the way. Th that's 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 insane. That is insane. Oh yeah, I've already used it. Uh, this turn. Uh, you know, I bought stuff like that for yourself in so long. I done the answer thing in this playthrough. No, not yet. I actually don't know if I'm going to. I mean, we'll see. I, I'm, I could give it a try. It's just not at any point when I don't have will, but... It could be good practice, though, because I, I would have to do it in... Um, in an honor mode run. That was your critical hit. You yeah, haven't seen my critical, my hit, my hitical crit, by the way, <laughs> my critical hit. <laughs> uh, I can talk sometimes. Too bad that I already used cleave because this would have been a good uh, time to do it. We'll give it another go. I don't know if this is going to be helpful at all, but... Oh, you can be frightened. Okay, I didn't know that. That's good to know. Mm. 
Mm. <laughs> Very Christian. <laughs> Wait, that I, I, I forgot about that command completely. <laughs> you want to eat something so badly? What it? What is stopping you? I'm just gonna let him be there to keep going. Acid could be good for for uh, this one. I guess not. I'm not very helpful in this fight. I can tell. That's fine though. I have barely used any level one spells. Yeah, I, did. I didn't want to use too much because I knew that he was almost dead. happened here you just want Ramazeth's tower for yourself don't you no I refuse to bow to another wait what I have to fight him no I don't want what I don't want I was trying to help you, okay? What the fuck is this? Why? I was literally doing it for him only. Only for him. What if I just knock him out though? I can I can use passives, you know? Well you can't apparently, but let's have some cut. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use passives and knock him out, you know? I don't I don't need to I don't need to kill him. I know this is very undurge like for me, but With I need I need to know if it's possible, you know? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what is going on? I know. Better make camp soon. Might be a while before there's another chance to rest. It was the stupid worm toxin that he had on his weapon that killed him after he was knocked out. <sighs> this is the second time I've had to kill someone that I just wanted to knock out today. It's like it's like the game is telling me you you're playing as a dark urge, okay? Act like it. What's inside? I am annoyed and sad. You're most fortunate, Roland. Few catch my interest, but your letters demonstrate potential. I'm willing to give you a chance. However, a warning. You must be willing to do whatever is necessary. Power is not cheap, and I'll not suffer weakness in my own student. Well, apparently you were both weak. Um...
But that's not your fault. Well, I guess I guess we'll figure it out in 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 my honor mode run how how this is going to go. Because it's not happening today. So, note to self, you can't save Roland if you kill a Lorowican if you don't have the night song, I suppose. And yes, I know that I could just reload until he, uh, and get someone else to knock him out so he didn't get killed, but I... I don't... Wait, should we do that? Almost the last time I saved. Because what if we come back? Oh no. I just saved mid-fight. That was the last time. I guess. Uh, fine. Whatever. Yeah, I I guess we'll we'll do that in some other run. That was just sad. I was trying to help him. Yes, I know I'm not the most trustworthy person. I guess. Oh yeah, we have the, the his stuff too now. Uh, game plus one was. This is so bad in comparison to what I have. I remember I gave this to Gale in my first playthrough. It suits him really well. tried, okay? We tried. I don't know. That that just made me sad. <laughs> Dreaming red. Um Well, and George doesn't doesn't need to know. <laughs> he, he doesn't need to know. I feel bad. He was just minding his own business and then suddenly he wasn't. Wait a minute. Seeing as we're uh, kind of on a murder spree, should we kill her husband? Maybe she will adopt a cat then? I mean, she deserves to be happy. It's a win-win. Here we go. Well, if if he if he dies, and she survives, she will be lonely, and there's like, uh, I think there's like three different cats in the city that you can, you can send to her. I mean, you can only choose one of them, though, um, that will come and, and live with her. And to be fair, that's better than this dude. I'm just gonna save because I don't want to fight her. I mean, I'm I'm sure that she will be happy about it. But you never know. Maybe she will be aggroed. I don't know. We we can uh, we gonna we're gonna we're gonna, gonna, gonna try. Your violence hasn't gone unnoticed. Yeah. It's about to be returned in kind. Hey, I was trying to help you. See, this is what I mean. 
I don't I don't want to kill her, but I will I, I I I could kill him, but if she also gets hostile, um uh, I'll 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 drop it. Uh, see, all I'm trying to do is I'm trying to be helpful. <laughs> I'm just trying to be helpful, you know? Can I kidnap him? I guess I could. Let's see if Lazel can, can, <laughs> can do it. I mean, we, we can try. He's too heavy, so I need to. I need to drink a potion, but I don't. I don't want to waste that on. I don't want to waste that on him. Ah, fuck it. Wait, wait, wait. Let's just leave them be. We we've helped. We've helped enough to handle everything. <laughs> Um time to press ahead. I hate this place. It's too loud. Should we go and talk to the um, hag? That's over here. I wish that there was a fast travel point, like, in the middle here. <laughs> uh, would have been so nice. You can also lower your equip load to be able to carry heavier people. I guess that's true. Helpful day. Yeah, see, this is one of the cats that you can you can adopt or... Not adopt, but give to her. I forgot that I don't have her. <laughs> I wouldn't chase the cat away. Oh. And then there's the cat over... And next to Sorcerer Sundries, the one that talks about Charesse. And then there's the... The cat up here that calls you mom. Murder with Sandra. Let's see. You think you met them all? Uh, at least, but you didn't know they could be adopted. Only if she lives by herself and her husband is dead. I didn't do that on my first playthrough, but I saw a clip where uh, you could I, you could see all the different options for uh, the cats that she could have. Survival check? Oh, it was probably Shadowheart. Guess there's one more reason to get the Bieber Bang explode after getting the Noble Stock. <laughs> yeah, I did the opposite of my first playthrough. I had to I ended up killing her and letting him live. I don't know what happened to him at all. My my first uh, playthrough was so chaotic. To sleep with one eye open tonight. Uh, 
should I do it? I mean... Uh... I feel kind of bad. But then again, this is what I'm supposed to do here. I'm supposed to do bad things. You just found her shop in, like, last time you played. You Have you gone back to her shop? Because I think if you give her the noble stock, she will sell you some as well. And if she does, you should buy one and give it to Shadowheart. Good. This is a mercy. I promise. Return when the deed is done. <sighs> After thinking about it, we agree to kill Laura. Captain Grizzly will pay us handsomely. It just feels wrong. Mm, you bought three of them, but you think those are different than the one... Those are like pieces. Oh! Oh yeah, like the one that I have here. Wait, hold on, where is it? I know I have it. This one. This one? Hmm. I thought that she would give you the actual ones. Okay, I I will never do that then. <laughs> I was told that if I just gave it to her, I would give uh, three more in return. And but I wasn't. Yeah, I just decided uh, against it. And now I'm glad that I did, because... Let's just say you have... Uh, like, lore-wise, it's better for you to use it. Oh, she's here. Okay. So I've tried giving, like in my first playthrough, I gave it to Shadowheart. In my, in this one, I gave it to myself. You're kind of happy you ended up giving it, so now you can like not do it then because you think otherwise, other way around would be harder. Hmm. Yeah, because you already... If you already did the... I don't know. I wouldn't say good or bad options, but... If you save the, the better option for later... I get, I get, I understand what you mean. <laughs> Everyone's just coming into the house. Who is this? Laura. She's the one who who talks about her daughter uh, going missing at the Blushing Mermaid. You're here. Does this mean you found my daughter? The flaming fish still have no clue. Useless twats. Van. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm never going to do this again. I'm never going to do this again. And I already said that I would do it. <sighs> I 
I mean, it's a terrible idea to tell her, but I'm gonna see what she says. What? <laughs> if this is a joke, <laughs> it's not funny. Why would Christy want me dead? Oh, gods above. Are you serious? Help! Help! <laughs> Yeah. We're being very helpful today. <laughs> you missed? What the fuck? Let's turn someone inside out. Don't don't be too excited about it, okay? <sighs> she had ninety six health and he just one shot at her. That was one hit. I'm just saying. Not everyone subscribes to what is mine. Is what? What? The, what the fuck are you doing here? Get out of here! You were seen stealing. Shut up! This peacefully will require more caution than you displayed in getting caught. <sighs> Fine. With your discarded, the matter can rest. Now get the fuck out of here. Wait, where the fuck did the items go? Uh, ride the winds. Transforms into a cloud, becoming resistant to all damage, gains advantage on concentration. Tiny in size. Summon a strong wind that clears all clouds and pushes creatures back five meters. Uh -huh. I mean, not that useful. It feels annoying that they can see through walls, even if the red one is- Yeah, it's it's because of the windows. Well, actually, no. There's no window here that you could see through. Uh. I mean, I- uh. Yeah. This- I'm never gonna do this again, so the, might as well- Might as well just do it this time. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, let me just add a bunch of stuff to wares and then send them over to Shadowheart. Uh This one too. Let's read. Well, I'm actually not gonna read. I'm just doing that. Mm. Seribot is so cool. <laughs> that was so fast, yeah. I didn't even see it. Um, but what am I going to do with the hag then? I don't know. I don't know. I guess... I guess we're buddies now. Why'd you make it so big then? 
Mm. Nice. Starborn auction receipt. Wait, hold on. Okay, let's go back to the um, to the hag. I mean, we are the dark urge, so you know it's 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 fine. It's fine. Sell the books and letters as well. Yeah, once I, I don't have any use for them anymore, I do. I make sure that I read them first, though. Well, in this playthrough, I haven't actually read too much, but it's like, even even if I don't, I always open them in case it will, like, update a quest or it will give you experience or something like that, you know? But... Once that is done, I usually tend to just sell it. Uh, you have them in a few backpacks in camp and most important feeling ones you have on Karlak or in your tab. Mm. Okay, let's let's do this. What's up for discussion? Is it done? Has Laura stopped that wailing of hers for good? Mm -mm. You actually did it. <laughs> oh, Petal, I've missed you. <laughs> she is the hag yeah wait how did you wait how did you know about the hag stuff if you didn't know that she was the hag i mean to be fair i didn't know that she was the hag either until i saw it in someone else's playthrough because i just went to the the lair and saw the suspicious mushrooms and stuff and i started attacking them and then when I did, she appeared out of nowhere. Um, so that's how I found her in my first playthrough. She never revealed in here? Yeah, because the one where I saw that she turned into the hag was when they refused to... Refused to... to um, and kill Laura. So then she turns into the hag. And then... I don't know if you can, like, start attacking her here. I don't remember if that was the how it went. Or if she just teleports away or something after you talk to her. I don't remember. We did talk to the captain here. You don't think you even got the option to... Did you talk to her? Like, did you exhaust the dialogue then? Because I think she will do that no matter what. I'll let you go once already. Hi, don't get in my way. <laughs> I kind of want to. I kind of want to say that. Mm. You made a mockery of me, you little shit me in my own home. Did you think I would simply walk away? I had it all worked out, you know. I was going to cut your pretty little head off and then kill Laura myself. But then you bashed the wretch's head in. So now, not only am I a fumble, but I owe you, of all people, thanks. 
I've already humiliated her, so I'm just I'm just gonna keep doing that. S say it. Say thank you. Still a little shit, I see. Yeah, I am. Thank you. But now we're at an impasse. Vanra sits in my belly, growing fat with power. A fine hag she'll make, but I need time. I need to be left alone. I know you're on a little crusade of your own, so let's come to a compromise, hmm? Walk away, Petal. And when the time comes and your back is up against the wall, you'll have the guts and glory of a hag at your side. You'll have me. Wait, she can offer to help you in the final fight? Wait, really? So now the, the Gather Your Allies will update if I accept that and she will be on my side? Dude, okay. Wait... Uh, that's... Kind of perfect for this playthrough though. Should we just... We, we I feel like we should do that. Because there's no way that I would side with her in a good playthrough. Ever. So if we're ever gonna do it, it's gonna be now, you know? <laughs> you hate it. Me, me too. I, <laughs> I do. In a way, I kind of like her though, because it's like <laughs> she called me a little shit, and then <laughs> it's like the the, dy the dynamic you have with her. It's kind of funny to me. <laughs> Still a little shit. I see. <laughs> Like, she she takes it with humor, you know? I I, I like it. I like it. <laughs> and Shadowheart approved. Did you see that? I wonder who else would have approved, because Astarian and Lazelle is at 100, so I couldn't tell if they would uh, approve or not anyway. Yeah, you have a deal. I guess. I knew you she disapproved of that. Than you looked. Here. The gold, as promised. Plus, a little extra for my favorite mommy killer. Step or two out of line, however, and the deal is off. Bye bye, Petal. Did she just give me 6,000 gold? Oh. Because I thought it was like she gave me. 3,000, and then I, it, it seemed like she gave me another 3,000. But what was the other extra thing she was talking about? Mommy killer. <laughs> so does that mean you can't go to the lair now? Uh, well, I mean, I could still go, because she won't appear unless... I mean, I don't know. I don't know what will happen, to be honest. Because she didn't appear when I went there. Uh, until I attacked the, the mushrooms. But then again, I didn't know she was there at all. Like, that was how I discovered that she was here. Um, I don't know. Now let's see what the quest says now. Yeah, Auntie Ethel is grateful for us letting her keep the child. We can rely on her help in the uh, in the trials ahead. <laughs> that was a very unlikely um, ally. We learned that the woman named Kenor Kenora was merely a disguise for Auntie Ethel, the swamp hag. Rather than cross her, we agree to an alliance. We stay out of her business, and in return, she lends us her aid in our final conflict with the Absolute. I mean, I'm kind of curious to see how she would fight, though, because you know that that would be that would be that would be interesting.
So fulfill the deal with Auntie Ethel is just to leave her alone. I guess I guess the the quest itself is kind of over then in a way. But isn't there like people as well like the affected ones? I guess. But to be fair, I ended up killing them anyway in my first playthrough. Because they kept attacking me, so... Would the hack survivors fight... fight me then now? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe? But okay, what should we do next time? Should we go and... Should we do the House of Hope stuff next time? Like, I want to have Gale back, but at the same time... At the same time, I also feel like I should do House of Hope before I go and find Orin. I don't know. I don't know. Does it matter? I don't know if it does matter. Do I still have a lot of other things to do? Kind of? How am I supposed to retrieve Amelium now? Wait, we haven't found him. Grand Duke Ravenguard died when the Iron Throne was destroyed. We should talk to Mizora. Maybe there's something she can do. Where the fuck is Mizora? She hasn't been here in the entire playthrough. How the fuck do you want, like, intend for me to find her? I feel like it's a bug. I did have that last time as well, but I feel like it would be a bug. Because she hasn't, like, I haven't f seen her at all in my entire playthrough. Let's see. Yeah, so we have... You had a vision divine. The truth is restored. You are a pure blood spawn of Baal. The former head of his temple. Return and kill Sister Orin, who usurped your place. Return and restore your birthrights to lead the cult of murder until all in this world dies by your hand. Yeah, so we have... We have the House of Hope. We have Orin. I don't know how the f how the fuck this is not updated because he if he's in the Iron Throne and the Grand Duke thing is updated for that, but his isn't. I mean, it's probably because we didn't even know that he was there, but to be fair, we also didn't know that he was there. So I don't know what I don't know. I don't know. Also, we have Shadowheart's quest as well. Yeah, so what we can do is basically just Shadowheart's quest. Um, Raphael. Oscar, somehow? Hmm. And Orin. So not not a whole lot left because we can't we can't do anything with uh, Gale either until we find um well until we fight Orin. 
Is she still in your camp? Yeah, she she never appeared in my camp. She wasn't even in the um What's it called? You know the thing. <laughs> That. Yeah, that's a good point. I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Moon is out. Yeah, in the Illithid colony. The Mind Flayer colony. Oscar might be here, though, don't you think? A good day to you, madam. I apologize, but Lady Janeth is not currently welcoming visitors. If you are here with regards to her recent marriage, you may leave any gifts or warm wishes with me, and I will ensure she receives them. <coughs> Forgive me. As you can hear, Lady Janeth is indisposed at present. Please come back another time. Hmm. Yeah, because this did not happen in my first playthrough. Um, she had a lot of visitors then because she had like a an art gallery going or something. Um. I indispose people all the time. I know what that means. <laughs> I assure you, absolutely nothing untoward is happening inside. Lady Janeth wishes for some time alone with her new spouse and has sent her staff on holiday accordingly. Hmm. A funny way to spend your holiday stood right outside your workplace. In ordinary circumstances, I'd appreciate her generosity more fully, but, well, I prefer to be here for when she changes her mind. Oh, is he jealous? Does she often send her entire staff away at such short no notice? Ordinarily, no. Though such generosity would not be out of character. But in this instance, I fear she has other motivations motivations I will not talk about hmm can I come in <laughs> after all that well were you to try and enter there'd be nothing I could do to stop you after all I am on holiday do as you wish interesting so this did have something to do with Oscar Lady Janeth's butler, Taran, indicated to us that something very strange is going on and was clearly unsettled. We should investigate. Maybe that's what we should do next time, then. Wait, what? What do you mean? Let's go get some rest and then uh, we're gonna end the stream for today, I think. Wait, hold on. Let me... I haven't talked to them in a while. I have a lot on my mind. I don't like getting caught between the guild and the Zentarim. You always make enemies when you take sides in a struggle like that. And in this case, they're enemies we might not see coming until it's too late. Mm. Yeah, so I forgot to talk to them after. Look at you, precious thing. You always stare so eagerly. Hmm. Said what happened there in your first time, he said the same thing. Wait, what do you mean? Is something bad?
I said what happened there. Yeah, but what do you what do you mean? Shah's blessings upon you. Uh, when I was there, there was just um. There were a bunch of people there, and there was like an art gallery. And all the people working there also was there. He said the same thing? Wait, what do you mean? He said the same thing after- oh yeah, but I mean- I'm just kind of confused. <laughs> Let's, let's go go to bed. Hmm. Well. <sighs> okay. Is it smooching time? It is. But I was like, should I wait until after I have a... Uh... No, we can do it now. <laughs> we can do it now. We need to do it once. At least once. Ask me anything, and it will be yours. You want to talk? <laughs> That's very cute. <laughs> okay. Just, just one, and then we can end. Oh, I can refuse you nothing. Oh. <laughs> I just find, I just find this, it's kind of weird, you know? It is a little bit weird. Every time. Okay. Now we can go to bed. Okay. Sleep and time. Yeah. I guess we're gonna do the the Janeth um, stuff. Next time. Oh, I should probably talk to um How delicious. Well, I don't have to do that now. Where's the restoration necklace? There it is. I mean, I feel like we haven't been able to do a whole lot today. <laughs> not not as much as I was uh, expecting or hoping, but it's fine. It's fine. Needed a, a bit of a slower day, I guess, as well. So it's 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 okay. What do I mean? Not <laughs> only three, four people. I mean, <laughs> true. I guess I guess that's true. Um, hold on, let me put on some music.
You have like a full storyline kind of in your saves on how you named them. Mm. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, all right, thank you. Yeah, so um, we are gonna, um, seeing as I'm done with Animal Well now, we're not gonna do that on Tuesday. I'm thinking we're probably just gonna go and like continue playing more Baldur's Gate uh, until we're done with it. Maybe. I think. If not, I will let you guys know if I decide to do something else. Uh, it really depends on... Because I have work on, on Wednesday, but I mean... Stream today has not been that long either. Um, so I think I think we can manage to, to do a Baldur's Gate 3 stream on Tuesday, even if I do have to get up early the next day. Um, because I do start a couple of hours earlier. So, I just want to, I just want to kind of get, well, not be done with the playthrough, but I, I, I feel like I've been dragging it out because I've missed out so many streams. Like, I haven't, I streamed last Saturday and then I streamed uh, the Saturday before then as well. I, I don't know if I've had any other streams in between uh, that I played Baldur's Gate. So... It's kind of... Yeah, I feel like I missed out on a few things. Um, Well, let's see if we can find someone to raid, though. I want to raid out before we get an ad and that happens in... Two and a half minutes. Let's see who... Who? I think we can we can read Toonie. Toonie's playing Super Mario Brothers 3, which is one of the games that I grew up with. Um, and thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being here. Here's the raid message. If you're subbed, and if you're not subbed, there's the second one. Um, I'm just gonna copy that before I start the raid. Yeah, let's just go and say hi to Toonie. I'll go say hi to Toonie. Yeah. Yeah, I will, I will be posting the VOD probably tomorrow. Today's, today's, uh, VOD. I tend, to, I tend to, to post them on YouTube. And my whole first playthrough is there too. In case people want to see that as well. But yeah, thank you so much for being here. It's been a wonderful day. I had a good time. I've just been really tired because it's been so... Like, it's been raining a lot. And that makes me really sleepy. <laughs> so... A day like this, um, right after two days of migraines too, kind of drains you a little bit, you know? So I feel like five hours is not that bad to stream. Uh, even though I tend to stream a little bit longer, especially on the weekends, but... I think it was a good sesh, you know? That was a good one. But yeah, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend, and I'll see you again on Tuesday. For more Baldur's Gate, we will probably we'll, we'll, we have stuff to do. Have a lot of stuff to do. But yeah, have a good one.